Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome Chris, thank you for resubscribing. Prime Gaming. Also welcome Calvisha. So, last time we left off, if I recall correctly, we did two out of the three character choices. We played as uh, Thesaurus, and we played as Girl 2. Now, chat, we have to name another character. I hope you hope you put your thinking caps on. Go ahead and pause that music for now and boot into the game. <laughs> we found an invisible village. I still don't fully understand how they didn't know where that was. To be real with you. Best name character, something like that. There we go. We got the little notification switching scenes. Limited is nine characters. Yes, I, I believe so, because I remember thinking, why nine? Usually it's eight. But welcome, Guardian Angel. You're also doing well today. <clears throat> we'll probably have another sneak peek at the, the PSO work in progress. At the end of the stream. It sounded like I deflated the menu. Oops. I'm gonna say, don't scare me by not loading anything. <laughs> it's like, don't you, don't you do that to me, Wild Arms. I've had that happen before. Where it just didn't save. Wait, what? Did I select the wrong file? Did it not default to the open one? Why did I get a cutscene there? Oh. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Are you telling me every time I load a game, I gotta watch the intro again? Because that was the intro. I'm 99% I'm 90, sure that was the intro, because we stopped here. Hold on, we're we're gonna hold on, hold on, hold on. Soft reset. <laughs> now hold on. <laughs> I just wanna make sure, right? I mean I guess in theory there could be more than one opening, but chat, you get to be the judge. Yeah, I, I gotta go back. I mean I didn't do anything. That that is boldly a choice. Welcome, Rob. That is a that that is a decision that they made. We can say it's definitely a choice of all time. So if I have to listen to the intro every time I load, I feel like I might need an intro counter. He's gonna shake my head. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure we're we're all gonna witness it. <laughs> I didn't select new game. It's on load. It defaulted to thesaurus. I hit load game, and that's why I did a double take of like I know I did it quickly, but I know, I think it's Terra's Pharma. They really did just put the intro on every load game. But why? I have so many questions, John. I mean, I I'm gonna proceed. I'm assuming that's the same intro. I'm not going to watch the full thing start to finish. I remember second ignition. Because you're just still in the tutorial land? I don't know. That's really weird. Like, but I already... Like, I'm already playing the game. Why even load it again? I don't get what the purpose of that is. There's literally one character left. It's a young man ready for action chat. You better be ready to name said young man. Last time we had Cowboy. Will we have anybody in the chat step up and become a pro tag? We'll see. As long as your name fits in nine characters, anything is possible. Are 
There you go. You, you, you get to think about it a little bit. Then about him really stands out in his appearance. Oof. He does look like every JRPG protagonist to some extent. He's even got blue hair. I mean, come on. He's like slightly wild westified JRPG protag. And have to give him either a very interesting name or just be very bland with him. No in between. <clears throat> Commander says, we now know that the kidnappers are holding the boy hostage. Up ahead in the old excavation site known as the Withered Ruins. Time for the final mission check. Musketeer A. This bodes well for him. Did you hear about the newly formed special unit? Are we Musketeer B in this? It kind of look like it. This mission is inactive. I probably won't get chosen. Hey you, what are you babbling about? Oh man, we're so unimportant, we don't even have a real name? Damn. What's your name? Oh, speaking of which. Yes! Ashley? I- what? That's not... I don't really think of this as a gender neutral name. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's I, I think allegedly it is. I I don't know any single person that is a boy that is named Ashley. Not even in like games or anything like that. There's Ash. Ash is fine, but not Ashley. That's weird to me. <laughs> I almost called him Ash. <laughs> that would have been, <laughs> that would have been opening up for some bad things. Yeah, like, normally, if you're good, it, yeah, exactly. Normally, you go by Ash in that scenario. You never usually go by Ashley. Need to name him something more masculine, like Stacy. Do you want to call him Stacy? It would open it up to a lot of Stacy's mom's jokes, I guess. But it's all up to the chat. I mean, already I feel like it's better if we're doing that, or if we just want to give him a flat-out feminine name. <laughs> I'm fine with that, too. Whatever the chat wants. Just found it kind of an odd choice there. Ooh, look how fast that D-pad is. We have Ash, which I like much better. We <laughs> just have Shush. That's also, I guess that's also a choice. There's a male Ashley in one of the Phoenix Wright games. Oh no. I have not gotten to that then. At least I don't think I have. Chat says, I've got nothing, quote, I've used my best name ideas on the previous characters. I mean, we could call this character Stacy. So far, that's the only name suggestion. Or Ash. We technically fixed the name to be a bit more on point. If it were me, I'd just call him B. B by itself is not necessarily a bad name. I mean, we'd probably do, like, B-E-E, -E, or something like that, versus the letter B. Hmm. We don't really know much about this character, other than apparently they're the Musketeer. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, it would be playing off the B. Boy, Ashley? Oh, no. Ashley. See, I was actually laughing. I was thinking of Mash for a moment. Chris would appreciate that. <laughs> Call him Mashley. <sighs> Ashley sounds good. He's strong. He's not strong enough to be Mash. All right, let, let's call the character Bashley. We're we're fitting in all the things that we know about this character. 
<laughs> see, like, look, see what I mean? See what I mean, Chris? Look at it. Would it he could have been Bashel. <laughs> we'll call him Bashley, though. Uh, I think we're, I think we're good. Some names that could ruin the game, like re renaming Red 13 to Naki. True. I guess that's a hint that we'll get this character's real name at some point. Yeah, let, let's go for Bashley. It's people like you that are the most dangerous in the field. Don't get in the way. Understand, Bashley? Oh. Ooh, you feeling okay there, game? That was weird. Let me do this, in case it's having hissy fits with that. Our third commander is to rush into the ruins where the hostage is held. Our third mission, excuse me. It's critical to secure the safety of the hostage first. Numerous monsters have been sighted at the ruins, so don't let your guard down. Chana, I'd just like to stay. This font is very hard to read. <laughs> I think between, like, the letters blurring together and then the letters feeling incomplete. Like, I'll give a perfect example of typeface. Look at the distance between the H and T in cited, and then look at the U and M in numerous. Why is it like that? In the same typeface. That really bothers me. Or like the U and A and guard, which makes it extremely hard to read. I mean, look at it. You have like the tiniest pixel to designate it's an A next to the blur that is the U. This font is a disaster for sure. Okay, let's go. Charge! I just leave. Came here to solve the case. Refused to abandon my mission. And answers that question. Look, he just goes into like the power crouch. But no tools. Longhorn. Cowboy hat. This accelerator, so he's pretty much. He's pretty much the same as the other character then. Imagine he's gonna be a slow character. So, like a powerhouse, but low speed. When it would just bash his face on the side with nothing else is hilarious. Oh, you mean the, uh. Tool menu. It, it it does feel like the game is criticizing him. Like, here are the list of tools, and it just shows Bashley. I don't think that was intended by them. Lately, we've been moving around so much, I'm wiped out. Monsters are multiplying here because they're treacherous. These treacherous ruins have been left abandoned. Ooh, talking to them is kind of annoying. Why does our troop have to be the one to get chipped away out here? Hey, Bashley, shouldn't we leave the search of the ruins to the mercs? Um... I'm gonna say it's an emergency we must act versus they do know about the ruins. Forget it, forget it. Going out all out here isn't gonna get you promoted or a raise. Health official says, It's important to carry out your mission. Just don't kill yourself. Okay, so he heals us. Don't overdo it. Return here before collapsing. The duty is to protect lives. So we can't jump in this game, but it looks like we could come down there later. The valuable treasures remain here in these ruins. Once have been searched already by the expedition team called Merc. That's why this place is called the Withered Ruins. Called Withered because they took the items out, I guess? Thimble coin acquired. Even if you're defeated in battle, hit continue and you'll be fine. Turn to the condition you were in before the battle and get to redo it. Continue system is convenient, but its use is limited. Each time you hit continue, one gimbal coin is spent. Some coins are valuable, so use them wisely. It can only be used as your last resort. Honestly, outside of bonus bosses, I hope I never hit the continue. Bonk. This information just in. 
kidnappers are three guys who came to the town of Maria as laborers to make money. Okay. Oh, you can't jump down here. I can't go in here. Mini carrot acquired. I thought they said they took all the treasure. Clearly they didn't do a good job. Ray isn't appearing in the chat, not sure why. What do you mean? I don't see him in my Twitch. He's not blocked or anything. Weird. Yeah, I don't even see him there. Could be like a connection issue. But welcome, Greg. say usually if people get removed from chat it's from posting a link that's an auto ban but I don't even see that so I don't think that's the case looks like this area has been taken over by monsters brace yourself that clumsy fool first guy who ran through the fog fell into that hole there user list on twitch confuses me often there's people there that aren't actually in the chat did you check it out? Oh, are we just gonna run in the pit? I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Some strange contraption is keeping the door shut. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean, I guess it's a little delayed, if that's what you mean. Some people are just lurking and don't make comments. And there's a lot of bots. Ooh, that damage is not good. For a powerhouse character, that was not good. Do we have anything else? Seven out of... Oh no, is this like another gun character? Hold on, let's learn. Okay, he does have a gun blade. Well, good thing I have reload if I really need it. They gave two characters arms. Interesting. Not sure I like that. I think I preferred quick draw a little more comparatively from the previous game. But anyway, we're gonna try to avoid using it going forward. character is right now. We have no self-heals. We have a lot of general healing items. But I really prefer not to just burn them before I have access to a real store. Keep in mind, none of our characters have been able to shop yet. Also, that's rude. That was rude. I guess I could try walking to get preemptive strikes, but then that's slower. Hmm. That knows how I feel about taking it slow. I think I'd rather just run around. Strength Thief. Okay, I'm assuming it's gonna lower my damage. Oh no, it just drains. Welcome, Gray. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, that XP was not worth it. It is apparently a giant zoo bat cave, I would agree. If only we had the Flash TM. Wait, you can bonk on exits? What? Go 
Berry Acquire. You've been trying to rename Ash to Ashbur. Are you on mobile by any chance? Mobile has problems where the chat doesn't connect properly. I've had that happen before. On desktop for now. Okay. Because I was just curious. Because desktop, I've never seen that issue. Mobile, I've had that issue before. I guess I'll use a heal item because I don't really have a choice here. We hit level two. There's the healing crystals, which would have been useful earlier in this game. There's the guy that fell down earlier. Okay, we down one shot, which is good. That's just free XP. Oh, did the did the game actually honestly want me to just charge into the pit like an idiot? Oh, I thought it was gonna punish me for being dumb, but you know, I I took the logical route of just don't jump down the pit, stupid. But uh, no, we gotta be dumb apparently. Thank you, Guardian Angel. Hopefully, you have a good day as well. That encounter rate, though. I mean, we still probably don't one-shot these, though, is the problem. Yeah. Oh, no, we do. Oh, okay, so one level up fixed everything. That's not too bad, then. I was worried they would have, like, 55 HP. That's fine. Well, time to just jump off, I guess. Hey, wake up. Can you stand? New recruit, huh? Looks like you messed up. Well, no, I couldn't reach you because jumping doesn't exist in this game. Because you tried to score big here. So you'd be reassigned to the new unit that is forming. Take it easy. Stay here until the rescue team arrives. He can't do that. Hey, look at that! Whoa. Hey, rookie. This is to celebrate your assignment. Hang on to it. Cool hurl knife acquired. Knife can be thrown with the square button. Must use. Must have use besides just turning the switch. We'll need to figure it out. attack here. Oh, we get outsped. That's kind of sad. I mean, what happens if I just hit the switch at the top floor before I go further in the dungeon? Hopefully that's not the intended route, or I'll feel kind of sad. Because I'd rather go backwards and then go forwards again and drop down here than do the dungeon and then learn I can't go any further. Did I dodge that encounter? Does Hurl Knife dodge encounters? What 
What does this feel like plot? I don't like the- I don't like how- I, okay, I don't like how this room is feeling. This is not feeling like side area. Oh! Real life skips encounters? Oh, that's great. I would love no encounters. That's twice now I had the little prompt and I just threw something. So was this the item? Oh, that's disappointing. Well, whatever. Ooh, guaranteed encounter skip? Okay, I'm having a I'm having a good time now. Chat knows how I feel about the random encounters. Nope. 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 Oh, hello game. I have a heart attack there. Did not like that apparently. Although sadly it looks like if you skip encounters it just keeps spamming it, which is kind of annoying. Wait, do I not even need to stop running? Talk to you. Put your footing above here. Watch for signs of a giving. Gun armed. Nine says everyone. It's all you were playing wild arms too. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for that. We're trying it for the first time. If you fall by mistake, you'll be held up like me. WTF Ziggy Cusses. What do you mean? Ooh, that- Okay, so you can only dodge encounters for so long. <laughs> that is kind of annoying. You enemy time. Mm, I don't think I said the F word. I reserve that for like moments that that earn it. <laughs> the, the game hasn't earned it yet. Unless I said it about random encounters, then maybe. Here's disease. Okay, that's fine. Thought I said screw you, random encounters. That's just rude. Hold on a second. If I just do this, can I just avoid all encounters? One moment. Ooh, new tech? <laughs> new tech chat. I would just throw stuff constantly. I could just end up never in an encounter. That seems like a huge oversight. Did they mean for me to be able to do that? So if you're running and you hit the tool button, you can cancel encounters, but it doesn't have an animation. So if I just constantly mash square, I'll never get into a fight again. Is that what I'm learning? Well, he, he checked out the chest from there. I'm actually impressed. I mean, we'll go through here. You can see it's trying to have encounters, but I'm not even timing it now. Cool. He's wearing skates in spirit, I think so. You can see it trying to give me an encounter, but I guess it'll still happen eventually. Yeah, you can super delay that. So I guess I get to play a little mini game of how to dodge the encounters. Yeah, there's a couple of games that have received the F word 
for sure. Tales of Fantasia was the first, I'm pretty sure. It knows what it did, John. It it earned that. It earned the F bomb. <laughs> They're Enigma too. Go through here. Oh come on! I even let go of the dash button. It's so unfair. I got destroyed by slide physics. Putting around here in particular is unstable. Don't sweat it though. Take it slow and proceed with caution. I really don't want to take it slow. That's just rude. I feel like I'm playing that very annoying invisible maze game that used to exist a long time ago, where you put a magnet on the bottom. The intent is to try to slide the wizard through the maze, but there's random invisible walls you gotta memorize. Reminded of that when I look at this. I didn't really like that game. That was a that was a big eye roll moment for me. You couldn't see it, but I want you to know it was the biggest eye roll. I saw it too, but I, I just held it slightly too long. So there's something I could do over there. I hit every single one, I'm pretty sure. It's so annoying. I guess they just wanted to make sure the shortest path just ends up being a big waste of time. Thanks for that. I guess. Screw this, I'm jumping off. Just waiting for you to drop the F-bomb. Nah, it hasn't earned it yet. It is annoying, don't get me wrong. I don't like stuff like that. I call those time wasters. Like, it's not very challenging. It's just there to purposely stop me from going fast. Health official and the kidnappers and the hostages. Oh, health official says the kidnappers are in the back and he killed me. Not all I could do, I'm leaving the rest up to you. Okay. Well, we're at full health. I could level in theory. Just a save point. So we'll be potentially a level down from where the game wants me to be. I don't know if that'll be a problem yet or not. We'll find out though. Right now I'm not that worried. If we do have encounters here, I'll just take them. Almost turned it. I hate no railings. There we go. This time I'm not skipping encounters. Oh, I thought that... Okay, so... One thing I'm just gonna state. One thing that is kind of annoying is that it is very common, for example, in RPGs, if you see a wall for it to register as blank, I couldn't tell due to the camera angle that this wasn't lined up with the other platform. You see what I mean? Like, I couldn't I couldn't physically tell where the wall was. I wanted to run against the wall. But alas, I could not. That is so annoying. Can I just do this? Was oh, that not low enough? I guess it's not. I can't do, like, a jump shot at it, either. Yeah, what I thought this would have worked. Not needing to do whatever it was trying to get me to do. But it sails over it, apparently. Oh, no, no, it's not lined up. Speaking speaking of uh, confusing, I thought I was hitting this, but then I look at this and it's... Oh, it's a little closer now. Okay, so what does it want me to do? So I can't snipe it at an angle. I can't do it while falling, so I can't do a drop shot. Is there something else I could hit that I missed? Let me go backwards lately. Yeah, I didn't see anything else in this room. I'm just gonna do a quick look. I'm wondering if I have to move the platform? Nope. Uh, if I don't see it there, there's something we have to do in that room. Alright, so I can't get a funky angle on it. Do I have to, like, bounce it off the wall or something? Okay. I mean, I, I feel like I should have been able to do that from the side. To be honest with you. Whatever. 
I mean, I don't know about you. I'm pretty sure I lined up that shot to hit it, but whatever. We'll take this encounter. I think two more and we'll level. I think that's okay. If we get another one of these that's worth clearing, then after that it's not worth fighting. Okay, so we got a treasure chest over there. Strength Apple acquired. I could potentially give it to this character. I haven't decided who's the bruiser of the group. Like, this character potentially could be. Boastful Horse Voice. Whoa, how this gets so blown out of proportion? I don't know, how did it get blown out of proportion? Humble little abduction was to bring comfort to our lives. Kidnapping was impossible for, for us from the start. He plan on doing, boss. It's about time those musketeer boys came charging up. Oh, shut up, Sook. A real man would do something. Gangle is his name. What a name. Hey, Gurg. Gurg, Gangle, and Sook. What a combo. Hey, Gurg. Isn't it your job to come up with the ideas? After much thought, it's clear that kidnapping isn't our answer. Didn't I say that at the start? What? You're giving me predictions of disaster before we even start. What a waste of manpower. Wimping out like that, really. <laughs> but I thought we gave characters bad names? Damn. Zook and Gurg, dot dot dot, in response to that comment. Well, regardless, we've got our own trump card. I'll get away no matter what. Boy hostage says, Nothing good is gonna come from holding me hostage. To start, I have no parents, so who's paying the ransom? Hey boss, did you hear that? Oh, there go my hopes and dreams. Hey, hey, we say throwing a knife just against the other thing. Is that Tony? I don't know what that means. What? Who are you? I've come to save you. Are those three the only kidnappers? Yes. Good, you did well. Do you have a name? Of course I've got a name. Oh no. Oh, apparently Gray has played the game before. I was gonna say I didn't understand the reference. So apparently we're naming another character. So there's more characters to name aside from the protags. We're not naming him Tony, though. That's the only rule of thumb. I mean, don't spoil anything for me, by the way. I, I haven't played through this game before. Let's see. Crazy BF says wrong. This will be the fifth character we name the three protags, the dog, and now his boy. Oh no, call him Tarf. Oh no. Oh, maybe. Oh, that that's a throwback. Tarf is quite something. About Kip, maybe. Tarf referencing East One? Hostage, maybe. There was a really horrible escort quest in both East One and East Two. I think Tarf is uh, East One, I think. Or he's East. He might be East Two, actually. I mean, we could just call him Hostage, honestly. We don't really know anything about this character. I think that's the downside. We at least got, like, some details about the characters.
Yeah, I think Tark would... I feel like one was too simple to have that, so I'm thinking Escort Quested one was uh, the goddess or whatever, and Tarf was two. What are we saying, chat? I'll put Tarf in for now, but are there any other names we want to put here? We could call him Hostage. Hostage does fit. It's within the nine character limit. Hostarf, oh no. I mean, if we're playing by Shadow Heart rules, he has to be called Hostage. But we didn't follow that for the other characters. <laughs> Meat Shield? Uh, that does not fit, uh, the nine character limit. Oh no, are we calling somebody Boy? Oh, that, that'll get too confusing. We at least gotta give them a number if we're gonna do that. Or else I'm not gonna be able to identify them differently from NPCs or not. Going okay there, game. Hmm. It's a shame I can't put boy hostage. So close. Rations? Oh no. Hmm. So we have potentially things like Hostage, Decoy, Kip, and Tarp. Call him Hostar. Alright, we got a seconding on the name. We're gonna lock in with Hostar for a moment. Because he's a good boy, his name is Arf in it. That is quite a logic jump for Rob, but you know what? That's technically three people. <laughs> so we'll go with this. Okay, Hostar, quickly, can you work with me? Sure, but what do you want? Draw their attention. Sure! Great, we've got a deal. Hey, old man, how dare you treat me this way? You don't have the guts to properly kidnap anyone. What'd you say? Hey, you two, grab the brat and shut him up. Oh, he gets to jump, but I can't jump? That's so unfair. Catch me if you can. Hold it right there. Huh? What? I know, I wish I could jump. Uh-oh, we're summoning Bowser. I've seen those eyes before. We're at the end of Yoshi's story again. Not Yoshi's story. Oh, here we go. We, we gotta see the name reveal. Sealed monster weapon, Kalibos. Could've called him Elliot from Trials. Well, too late, unfortunately. Wah! I don't know why, but I'm feeling something like this might happen. Keep talking, you'll bite your tongue. Hello, please! Hey, you too. Oh, he's got little wiggle fingers. Look at him doing the wiggles. There we go. Look at him go. He's wiggling fast. I don't know if that's intended, but he is. <laughs> It's like he's typing a million words per second. Which chat? It's like something out of Monster Rancher. He's very twitchy. 
And our technician says, Commander, a large life form has been confirmed in the ruins. Most likely, the trap monster was released by accident. Unfortunately, highly volatile liquid explosives have been found in the monster's secretions. How did he find that out? What? Commander, at this rate... What the? What are the soldiers in the ruins to evacuate immediately? Huge explosion is possible, so we can't handle it above ground. Wait, how did they find that out? To minimize casualties, we must destroy the entire ruins at once. Yeah, take that, ruins. Release the safety on the large arm. I'll authorize the use of the railgun. Oh, no. I had, uh, other M flashbacks for a moment there. Also Metroid Fusion. You must... Radar technician questions. You must destroy the entire ruins? But we still have soldiers left in the ruins. Dungeon Drafters looks different than what I remember. Hopefully it doesn't say Dungeon Drafters, but welcome, Dango. Have me checking now. No, it's just wild arms. It's possible the monster could escape before all of them evacuate. By destroying the ruins, some soldiers won't escape in time. Are you gonna let them die? He dot dot dots. I'm waiting for him to just say, do it. Take full responsibility. Close. Close. Oh, maybe if you don't... If you had it open from last time, that might be one. Hotstarf says, dude! What do we have to? Evacuate immediately. We'll finish things off with the large-scale arm. Large-scale arm needs... But, but our team is still in the back part of the ruins. If you do that... I won't do it. I can't. This is an order. You disobey your in violation of regulations. I cannot sacrifice someone even if it is for the larger good. Oh, he missed a chance to say greater good. It's not just me. Commander and everyone else here doesn't want that to happen. Our hearts should be one. Please order those remaining in the ruins to evacuate. Even I can manage to solve for time. No. I'll stop this one. Well, let's see how hard this battle is. He is much smaller in the cutscene, unless he's really far away here. He's still doing the wiggles, though. in the face real quick. Don't mind me. Okay, there we go. Now he looks a little bigger. Camera angle helps. Let's shoot his claw. Wow. So let's not use the gun ever again. <laughs> That's all I just learned. I'm like, wow. I guess I could have waited one more turn. But I'm also scared we haven't seen the full array of his attacks. I would like to get rid of a claw so he stops using that attack. Laser breath. Yeah, the fear of the fear of seventh getting seventh moon is kinda high, I'm not gonna lie. Well, this is what we like to refer to as unfortunate. So we could take... I don't want to go below 30. I guess that's our new known damage threshold. I haven't seen the boss do more than that. Play Claw left. Assuming it's going to play Claw right. I don't think Accelerate really matters here. This is fine. We could take this damage. Might be okay. Okay. 
So we're not getting hard punished for not leveling again, which is fine. We are getting rewarded for at least leveling once, so that's nice. Kind of saying if he's working on a million typewriters, <laughs> he'll someday write the world's greatest novel, maybe. Okay, so we did pop his claw. He's no longer wiggling it. I've defeated the wiggle chat, I'm so sorry. Honestly, him spamming laser breath more is kind of a problem. Yeah, I see, I kind of want the lock-on effect with the other character. Should be fun here. Yeah, we're destroying his uh, career as a journalist slash court reporter that needs to type really fast. It's all over. No novels for you. Are you hurting our boy? So I could get more XP. I mean, I could have ended the fight already, but we're going all out. Should stop his wiggle soon. I'm surprised he even got a swipe here, to be honest. So we're at 47. I could probably survive any unexpected attacks. Stream shattered just like the bones in his hand. He's now armless. So fortunately, we started with a lot of healing berries, because we're losing a lot in this fight. Now he's only going to laser breath, which is actually kind of annoying. I guess in a way we powered him up by taking down his parts. I think the opposite would occur. Because his laser breath was his most damaging move. Now he only has access to that. Whereas, like, Claw Slipe and Left Claw slash left, Right Claw don't do that much. So I guess the Right Claw would have been to do more damage to his body first. I mean, I did try to hit it earlier, but... I'm unfortunate. I could try to risk a Gunshot, but I really don't like the fact that it whiffed earlier. So maybe if we can fix that thing's accuracy, I'll use it more. We'll try it one more time. I wish I could see what its accuracy is, because I don't seem to be able to check its stats like I can in the other game. Okay. That time we were rewarded. Because I would like to speed it up a little bit if we're not leveled. Boss well, fights are supposed to be the things that you use these things on. I guess I just got really unlucky the first time. But we'll see later, hopefully, what the percentage actually was. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Rip all of our bonus healing, though. Good XP, 500 money, hit level 3, big berries. Kinda made up for the M-Lots. That was the world's quietest explosion. The flames are louder. What happened there? Sound design, please. Yeah, we destroyed the ruins, all right. Ignored your orders and took matters into my own hands. Prepare for my reprimand. I hope so. Punishment for this incident will be forthcoming. Until then, you're under house arrest. Is that all, sir? You have any objections? No, no, sir. And that is how this extremely long day ended for me, the new recruit. I did what I thought was right. It was a violation of orders.
Don't believe I was wrong. No one wants to see anyone get hurt. Get hurt. Oh no. Don't introduce them to Twitch chat when we play Mayhem. Even though the destination is the same, different people choose such different routes. I don't understand. I just don't understand it. Oh well. With my sentence, I have plenty of time to think. Well, okay, let's see what's in store for us on the next episode. So far, going okay. Oh no, chat, we have mysterious girl, parentheses, question mark. Are we getting another party member? I mean, it looked like there was a party swap system, so I'm assuming at some point we're gonna get at least four characters. Serious Girl says, The comet has disrupted the heavens. I need to do something. I must hurry. She says while standing still. Whoa, whoops. Heaven forbid. She puts on a little magic hat. Are we questioning whether or not she's mysterious? Maybe. Town of Miria. Potentially mysterious woman, exactly. Oh, my eyes, too bright. Who opened the curtains? Innkeeper's daughter. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. Hold on, hold on. Get your bingo sheet out. If you had JRPG protagonist sleeps in and is woken up by uh, potentially the female party member, Stamp it twice. <laughs> Man, that was such a thing in the 90s. How many games did we play so far where that just happens constantly? We get called Sleepyhead and we're like Country Bumpkin. Get all the nicknames. Sadly, Innkeeper's Daughter is not important enough to have a name, so she's just Innkeeper's Daughter for now. There is an eraser at the protagonist, maybe. It's me, Sleepyhead, it's me. He specially sleeps in and bed on a dining room table, that's true. Oh no. Naming the innkeeper's daughter? But you but Oh that's not fair. We barely know her. Alright, chat, what are we naming the innkeeper's daughter? Now she gets a name, apparently. Color cliche, damn, so true though. That was the hardest call out of all time. It's unanimous. Oh, it's only you, cliche. Morning. I know you're on leave, but you can't sleep all day. You can find a quarter, it's not on leave. Don't you get it? Well, from here I don't see any difference. Anyway, you have visitors. Visitors, really? Me? I wonder who it is. Don't keep your friends waiting. Hurry up and go. I'm gonna keep them waiting. Oh, they they put me on house arrest, but, keep, but left me with my knives? Foolish, foolish mortals. So far, I've not been able to really interact with the overworld. Also, it looks like I'm just kind of bobbing out every now and then when I'm matching for items. Oh, there- oh, there are hidden items. Oh, I probably missed some of the other town then. We got Sorcerer Apple, I guess. Better to find some than none, I suppose. I think Cliché will get mad at me if I climb onto the roof? Probably. She is Cliché. Yeah, I probably missed some- 
I mean, I felt like I tried at least inspecting the crates before in the other town at least. Baker's wife says, good morning, Vashley. A friend is waiting at the front. This guy had friends? Damn, we got we're getting hard burned by the innkeeper. Damn. No friends for us. Take that innkeeper. Blistarf says, hey dude, what's up? Thanks for helping me out the other day. Oh yeah, the withered ruins. Have you been, Hostarf? Excellent as you see. But it wouldn't be if you hadn't rescued me, dude. You know, I started to him kind of like higher pitch in voice, like just a little bit. But he's he's got a lot of dude kind of vibes going on too. Um Hi, I'm Bashley. Nice to meet you. These two are friends of mine. Vacant looking boy? <laughs> Please tell me we don't have to name this character. Very pleased to meet you. Oh no, I think we do. Oh boy, chat. Oh boy, we gotta name the character. Vacant looking boy. Is he just airhead? <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we gotta call back. I... We barely know this character. See, this is the problem with naming characters. Like, the other three characters... I at least had, like, an idea of what they were about before I could name them. And even games like Final Fantasy VI at least give you some introduction to them. Little fact that there's three or four characters named after Marvel characters. That's unfortunate. So if this character is Scott Summers and the other person is Tony Stark, there is going to be the biggest eye roll. I want you to know. I don't think that's cool. I think that's kind of lame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm, I'm kind of tempted just to call him vacant, obviously, honestly. I don't really know anything about this character. Okay, Chad, I'm leaning towards vacant. Do we have any alternative names, or is Chad in agreement? We just call the vacant-looking boy vacant. See, now that's true Shadowheart style. You just decide to name them after the nickname. So my friends redacted and pending. Vacant is good. Okay, we got a second on Vacant. In a moment, I think we'll, we'll move forward. Okay. Sounds like we got a confirmation there. Hmm. Let's proceed. So, yeah, there's nothing else to go off of. Exactly. Thank you for helping our dear friend the other day. My humble opinion, you would seem to be a very good person. I'm pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh no, not another character. No. Boy in native dress says, hello. Oh, that's not fair. Come on. We have even less to go off of now. We're, he's only identified by his outfit? You've got to be kidding me. I know nothing about these characters. How am I supposed to name them? Why does Tim get a portrait is a good question. Is this a playable character? Yeah, why give him a portrait? I don't know. I mean, we might just have to call him native. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, the other characters, you know, we at least had, like, a couple of lines of dialogue. He literally said hello, and then we named the character. <laughs> it's so terrible. Oh, man. I, I I guess we'll start with native and see if chat has any other statements for it. Boy in dress? We could potentially call him boy in dress. Or hello in all capitals might also work. So we have votes for native, boy in dress, and hello. What is chat feeling between what has been offered? Ridiculous. <laughs> See, this is the hard part of the game. It's not the bosses, it's not the puzzles. 
this this is a real curveball, chat. <laughs> e even if I was playing this by myself, even I would be like, I have no idea what to call this character. Other than not Tim. Hmm. We have named quite a few characters. So I guess we could call him Hello. I'm good with not Tim either. At this point, I would look at random letters. Oh, do you want to call him not Tim? Is that not is that going to win the vote over Hello? Calvisham says Tom. Okay, so we have a lot of votes for Hello. I just want to make sure nobody's changing their vote. But right now, Hello is in the lead. Need the extra E there. Yeah, I was reading the chat. I'm not reading the chat and typing. Maybe it should be in all caps. Wish I could fit not Tim. Like, hello, not Tim. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how to distinguish his name. If I want to add numbers or capitalize it. So right now, hello is working. Yeah. See, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I could put spaces in his name? Is this allowed? Hold on. We're, we're gonna do a safe- We're doing save states for the important things, chat. <laughs> just to see what this does. Can I just put, like, awkward spaces in here? Is this allowed? What, what does this look like? One second. We'll reload. You can just put spaces in the name for some reason. There we go, chat. Now now it'll be distinguished. What is the six like a like zero? Oh my god, this font, something like this. The three of us hang out together because we're all orphans. We're so glad that our dear friend Hostarf is alright. Thank you, Bashley. We came here to thank you and ask you a favor. Played Xenogears? Nope. Favor? Yeah, helping people is your job, right? Well, we need your help. We can't do this on our own. Orphans knock another one off your JRPG bingo. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, but I'm busy right now. Damn. All right, we'll say okay. Tell me what's going on. It looks like there's skippable quests, potentially. Need you to catch a cat. Actually, a kitten. This is embarrassing, but... Kid made off with the treasure of ours. A cart. <laughs> hmm. This is getting interesting. I saw that. It's the kitten up there on the roof. Okay. My humble opinion. It looks bad to have this happen to us. We need to name the kitten too, maybe. Once we capture them. We find ourselves unable to remedy this situ situation as the kitten is on a roof. says, frightened by her chasing it, the kitten refuses to descend. Sorry to bother you, but could you do something? You gotta help us, dude. Our pride is at stake here. Okay. We have the magic shop. Imagine I can't do anything in here. No, 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 you're trying to create a spell, right? I knew it. Oh. Oh! So this is back. I wasn't sure if they removed it. Hold on, Chad. We're, we're, ooh, we're gonna come back here later. We're gonna name some spells after Chad. Oh boy, here we go again. Exactly. Oh, 
We didn't go in here. I'm trying to look for items. Maybe I'll find something. Classic PS1 rubbing against the wall, pressing button. It's gonna be so much naming in the future. Exactly. Nature's wife says, oh, I just remembered. It's in the roof from the second floor here. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Cliche says, spend more time like this than on dangerous missions. It reminds me of when you were a child. Vitality Apple Pound. Okay. We're, we're doing an okay job. We're cleaning up some items that we missed. Definitely do better, but... Now let's go to the roof. The cold tips on the lightning magics as a parameter. That's fair. Oh, were we supposed to actually chase it? Thought it was a cutscene. a hole in the roof. The lady hates it, but it's handy to be able to come and go through the roof. Dang. Damn, I'm getting outplayed by the cat. If only we had a jump button. Even go up. Okay, we can go over here. Ah, uh, we can't do anything there. Downwards we go. Talk to you real quick. Hey, you really showed your stuff during that kidnapping. That's good, because when you're young, sometimes you gotta go wild, right? When I was young, I... Just took them out. Over here. E-S-S? -S? Oh, personal skill shop. <laughs> it's like, I was like, what? <laughs> Personal skills are cool, so don't put it off. Challenge yourself. Cut FP usage, up HP, restore HP, convert HP. Convert to remaining FP into HP. Restore HP when going up levels. Ups the advanced guard probability. Oh, I can just... Ooh. I don't think I care about resistance. Is there anything else that goes up when you level? Stores HP when force level goes up? That's not... I don't see why I wouldn't just take HP up here. Yeah. Because then I... Then I need to level less. Yeah, let's go for this one. Hope see you, Greg. Hopefully work goes okay for you. Thank you for stopping by. I miss work one shopped here, or so they say. This is the place for items. Well, I'm glad I wasn't power leveling or doing anything earlier. Only two defense? That knows how I feel about that. I'm not bothering. Rhino shot's a new weapon, but... It adds any damage. We do have a lot of money. Worth it. Teleport gem. Get at least two of these. Protective gear for prisoner 666. Oh no. That really is prisoner number. I'll buy their weapons for now. I don't see any healing items, interestingly. We'll get a couple of cure poisons. I think nine of each should take us there. Hold on to the rest of our money for now. Edgiest number, we should have called him killer. It's true. trying to investigate this on. There's the inn. This is the save point person. Remember them from last time. The killer? Oh no. 
all the crossover slash references. I mean, maybe there's a naming service later in the game. I'm assuming we gotta go back up to the roof this way. And the intent was I was supposed to take the hole to fast travel down. But I'm glad we found the other shops at least, before any story events really occurred. Can I throw a dagger at the cat? Like, what, what does it want me to do to catch the cat? Feels like I need something in order to do something. Hmm. Or maybe what it needed me to do... Maybe I needed to talk to the other guy more than once. Maybe that's what it wanted me to do. Because I can see the cat falling in the hole. Talk to him again. That looks fun. How about it, Sunny? Want me to help you catch the cat? Okay, there we go. I, in my defense, I did talk to him before, but I had to talk to him more than once. We'll say yes, please help me. Chase that cat this way again. I have a secret weapon. I'm gonna fall down the hole. Did to rob his house. So disappointed in the poorness of this house. How are we supposed to steal things if they don't have anything? Not fair, chat. They should, be, they should consider our feelings. First room I stayed in had a hole in the ceiling. Truly outrageous. The complainant had them put me in this room instead. I rob every house I go, said Sir Rob. Sounds accurate. Live it up to the name. I travel all over Phil Guy, and I like this place. I'm is tolerable, and the monsters do not cause too much damage. There's a character over here I don't think I'd talk to. If they're going to leave town, you better be careful. Monsters around here are nothing to be sneezed at. Oh, okay. We are just told they weren't really a problem, and then another person warns us they're tough. I don't think people really understand the strength of the monsters. Hopefully just doing this resets the cat's position. into the downstairs room. Just don't throw knives at the cat. We're just we're just collecting the cat. Yeah, gotcha. You see that? Did you witness my amazing skill and timing? That must be under here. This is what you want help with. Count me in. Oh, time to ambush the cat, I guess. Gotcha. Alright, now be a good kitty. Got that mischievous kitten. Must be the treasure the kitten took. Quest complete? Question mark. Wow, that's great, dude. Which is gracias. I'm so glad. In my humble opinion, we have successfully preserved our honor. This is it, right? I got it back. Uh, what the heck? Here, you can have it. This is a matter of principle. I have it back, so I'm happy. What orphan talks like that? Nobody. Nobody talks like that. Now I'm giving it to you. The token of my gratitude for getting it back. Take it! Press cap acquired. Okay. Well, one more thing. Please, accept this from me. This is medium. It supposedly contains the power of a guardian. Before she died, Mom gave this to me as a good luck charm. I want you to have it, Bashley. Are you sure? This must be very special to you. It's okay, because I have another one. Please take it. It's a token of our gratitude for saving Hostar. 
All right, thank you. Hello. Rudia acquired, okay. Equipping characters with the medium boosts their parameters. Ah, yes. I remember when the orphans in the street walk up to me talking about mediums boosting their parameters. Each medium has its own custom command, a special battle command. Custom command is added to your battle commands and will come in handy. One more thing. Mom said that medium is also as another type of power. But I can't remember what it was. Sorry. That's okay. Hello. It's handy enough as it is. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you, Bashley. What is it? A musketeer came and said to give this to you. Well, what does it say? Oh no, not the guardians. Don't take it. It'll make us weaker. Maybe. It says I'm not combined to quarters anymore, and... I've been assigned to the special squad that was just formed. You're in the special squad. Wow, that's great. This is right out of the old epics. Do I even deserve this? After all, I did get confined to quarters for insubordination. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, is this his version of the, huh? Is he gonna be saying this a lot? Why would they pick me for such an honor? Besides, why was Cliché so angry then? I mean, it's cliche. Is anybody surprised she's Sundari, chat? Is anyone here surprised? Of course she is, chat. Roll your eyes. Of course. Of course. I just can't figure it out. Huh? Exactly, Blue Donna. Blue Donna's on point. Thank you, Blue Donna. The new special squad. The one everyone was talking about? There's a Guardian in the first game that dealt 5k damage and fully healed. I feel like that's too slow. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Calvisham. We used like two Guardians the whole game. Not once were they useful. They, they felt terrible. They were slow. And where the enemy was just immune to the damage. And it was pointless. We couldn't have given her a better name. Yeah, it's really true. Chat was on point with that. Hooray, hooray. Here, read this. The Chief recommends me. Yippee, I did it, cliche, I did it. Yippee. I did it, cliche, I did it. All right. Hey, stop. Ouch, that hurts, Bashley. I'm celebrating. This is a happy occasion. Aren't you happy, cliche? No, not at all. Hmm. This isn't something to jump up and down about. Cliché, what are you upset about? Why aren't you happy for me? <laughs> I love they just peaced out. They just walked away. The animal walked away. The kids walked away. They're like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Why aren't you happy for me? They picked me over a lot of other people, you know. Yeah, they did pick you. They picked you for a mission that's even more dangerous than before. How can I be happy about that? <laughs> nope, not getting involved, exactly. Blue Donna with the huh. There we go. He's living up to the dream right now. Biche. Yeah, I just feel the problem with the Guardians. They take too long to build into, and normal combat is just over instantly. And most of the time, if I need to, like, heal in a boss battle, it's just faster to use the item than sit through, like, some of those animations. I literally can turn cycle before those animations finish. After that, Cliché didn't say anything to me. Maybe if it did 5k and heal, that would be like the literally only one worth using. But in order to do that without a guide, I'd have to check like the 30-something guardians that weren't worth it. So in like the three boss scenarios where I managed to build meter and the boss didn't die, don't think it would have been worth the time. After that, Cliché didn't say anything to me. We're always together, and sometimes we have fun. But we argue just as much, too. Dot, 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 dot. What kind of relationship do I have with Cliché, anyway? Her name's Cliché. Figure it out. <laughs> right, chat? Right, chat? Figure it out. You'll you'll get there. Or not, because it is, cli is Cliché. Yeah, an unfortunate one. 
<laughs> Next morning, exactly, chat. Congratulations, Vashley. You're something else. You get assigned to the new squad and get the Order of Knighthood. I envy you. Thanks. To be honest, I still don't believe it myself. Don't sound so wishy-washy. You're a defender of this town now, so shape up, soldier. Ha ha ha. Well, anyway, I wonder what's keeping cliché. Here we are, all gathered for the big send-off for Bashley. Where could she be? Hmm. Bashley dot dot dots. I think it's time to leave for the confirmment ceremony. It's at the Sword Cathedral, located at the foot of the mountain to the far to the northwest. Okay, northwest. Be careful out there. The damage from monsters has been increasing lately. Don't worry, after all, fighting monsters is my job. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'll be on my way. Hopefully I can just go back into the town. I didn't really explore it all that well. Cliche, I'm so glad you came. Me too. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm happy for you. I don't know why I said those things. I'm rolling my eyes again. It's okay. Anyway, I have to be going now. You're coming back, right? Sure. Come right back after the ceremony. I promise. You know, when they say things like that, that's usually when a town gets burned down, chat. So I feel like the odds of this town being destroyed went up by about, like, 40%. We're at, like, 40%. The town is already gonna die. We'd be waiting for you with a big feast for dinner. I feel like it's going up to about 60% now. <laughs> Good, I can't wait. Bye, see you soon. 75%, it's true. Take care. Another mark off the JRPG bingo. If this town burns down, it's like, just st put all, put, just stamp the whole board, you win. <laughs> uh, so we can pulsate to, in order to find things in the overworld slash dodge encounters. I don't know if we could have done that with the other character. When they mentioned dinner, it's over. Oh no. Found the cat house. <laughs> the cat the cat blocked it. At top tier. Is this just an abandoned house? That is a lot of cats. Now tell me the truth. Are you and Cliche really sweethearts or what? Seems like you two are always arguing, you know. I just have to figure out what's really going on. Cat orphanage, that's pretty accurate. I'm not gonna lie, every time I see the compass, I think it's pointing me towards an objective versus being a compass. Is there gonna be an item in a barrel? Okay, is everything just in a barrel? Is that what it is? Is that the tip to finding things faster? Okay, so let me get this straight. I could have spent money for defense, or I just check a random house and get upgrades. Cool. Glad I didn't buy armor. <laughs> right, chat? Glad I didn't bother. So here's what I'm learning. We need to get HP up on literally everybody before we continue. See a book entitled Diary of a Nameless Merc. You want to read it? Sure. This is for young adventurers who hope to become mercs. One. Ask for information, but it has an asterisk next to it. Always reload your items. Never underestimate the enemy. Remember. Says the asterisk. Cowards live longer. Don't confuse bravery with recklessness. Lastly, never work for free. Okay. You know how a red ex... I will say red bubble with exclamation appears above your head just before combat, right? Usually it looks like this, but if the other version appears, you can avoid the fight. Once you see the exclamation, just use the circle before the fight starts. I was using square. Easy, right? That's the encounter cancel feature. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. Square also works for some reason, which I'm not going to question. Because 
I think we also did that in the overworld, too, where I did the search repeatedly. I guess if I would, don't want to pause in the overworld, I can hit circle. Hey, lover boy. Hurry up and get rid of those monsters so we can play outside. Promise me you will, okay? We're organizing a new squad. Is this town in such danger that we need one? Well, it's gonna be in danger now. Your barrels didn't have any items for me to steal. I'm disappointed in you. Nothing else of interest so far. So we checked out some homes. We got a defense on increase, which is good. Well, guy are the three other countries besides Bria Bull. The Forest Kingdom, Silverland, and Industrial Guild Galad. Then there's Military Slayheim, ruined by Civil War five years ago. Also, there's several autonomous regions here and there. Getting all the lore, Chad. Yeah, Diary of a Wimpy Merc, basically. Bonk. You're nervous about the ceremony. Just take a cat nap or think about a girl you like. But do not be late. We knights will stand our ground to defend Maria Buell Castle to the death. Bull? It might be just Bull. Not, I've seen that name before. I've never said it out loud before. People live in fear, and they've pinned all their hopes on the new special squad. Castle better have something in it. Beyond here is the castle library, which houses records of Philgaia history. Woman is beautiful when studying intently. What? That's a weird line. Hey, yeah, let's go this way. See a book entitled The Philgaia Theory? Do you want to read it? Sure. The theory holds that Philgaia itself is a single living organism. This view the world is a living mass and the planet is its vessel. Words are foreign, you cannot read the book. Let's just try that with a different character later. If I can remember it. See a book entitled The Heroine of Salvation? Let's read it. Nameless Maiden is led to the hilltop by a sword's voice. Hilltop, she receives the sword and a name. She is now the sword... A Jess is the feminine version of Mage. Interesting. The sword of Jess uh, with sword in hand and a werewolf by her side. Wait, a werewolf? Wait, what? People called out and she is drawn to a bloody battlefield. The blood-drenched battlefield is where she belongs at the graves of a life at the Graves of Life Extinguished. We see this werewolf says Rob, maybe. New book name and title Guardian Blade, sure. Named... Oh, you... Chad, you gotta give me a break. Okay. <laughs> I just saw that H and the M and my brain was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> it was like... It was like such a weird squiggle. Named Argetlom. The sword called the Guardian Blade was wielded by the Sword Magus. Wielded to vanquish countless demons, the sword is our last ray of hope in a dark time. Argetlon. The name means the rest is illegible. See a book entitled Sword Cathedral? Do you want to read it? Sure. Sacred Ground is where the sword mages first heard of the voice of Argetlon. Cathedral was built here to preserve Mother Philgaia. The great deeds of the sword mages wouldn't be forgotten. Sword Cathedral is the pride of Maria Bull and the guiding light of Philgaia. Okay, so now we know why it's called the Sword Cathedral. See a book entitled The Protector... Or the four protector states. Let's read it. Great Bowl in the eastern part of Broadfield Gaia protects the trade routes. The land in the south is blessed with fertile land. Protects agriculture. Gilgalon in the north uses fossils to protect its unique industrial technology. The west is Slayheim, protector of military might. But power that grows too strong leads a nation down the path to its own destruction. Finally, we should have one more book. It's a book entitled The Tale of Slayheim's Lib Liberation. Slayheim's military seized power, but a resistance movement took form. Weak at first, the rebels were united to a powerful resistance by a, quote, hero. Driven by a fierce desire for peace, they overthrew the king and won a stunning victory. The hero in war became unwanted in peacetime. The hero was charged as a war criminal, erased from the annals of history. It's a portrait of the late queen. We desired peace so strongly, today's ceremony would bring her great joy. 
I'm glad he mentioned it because I didn't see it because of the camera angle. This is a portrait of the 14th Queen of Maria Bull, Margaret of Sin Marie Bull. Okay. Ooh, I guess we learned stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a player that will almost never rotate the camera. So it's like I want I want the compass in a very specific direction and it will not be touched otherwise. Check what's over here. Nothing to steal there. I'm just so proud to know someone who's picked to join the new special squad. Hey Greenhorn, here you're transferred to the new squad. How was the ceremony? You joined the new squad, don't forget me. Or that knife I gave you. After that last mission, they finally decided to retire this old troop carrier. There's something funny to me about going in like a ye old castle and then just suddenly like <laughs> military convoy trucks. Quite a uh, change. Oh, we got a full revive. This was kind of worth coming here. Full revive's a nice item to have. If it was just like Heelberry, it would have been like, eh. We went pretty deep. Exactly, you mean this knife chucks it. Uh, I guess I could go this way. Oh, I thought he would slide on the wall. He's not quite as uh, angle gifted as the other characters were. Why would they pick a rookie like you for the new squad? Oh well, give him hell. First, I thought the new special squad was something like the mob squad. Why did he think it was like the mob squad? Big... Okay, I don't feel as bad. I feel like I just checked this item, but it didn't give it to me until I came back a second time. Hmm. Maybe that's what happened in the first town, where I checked the barrels and maybe they did actually have something. And I got robbed. Okay, so we can just hold the run button down in between screens. I don't need to time it. King is busy attending affairs of state. You cannot meet with anyone right now. All that for a little bit of lore and a full revive. Eh. It was okay. You now chat as a werewolf at some point to look forward to, question mark. So we know a little about little bit about the sword mages. I think that was used earlier. Arm. Let's go see if we can improve our equipment. This is where our money will probably go. No luck with women, but I'm a pro at fixing arms. Let me see yours. Let's reload. Bullets are made to be used. So blast away and come back when you run out. Oh. Oh, did it restock me already? Alright. Uh, arm upgrade. Ooh, this thing only is an 83% accuracy. Oof. Okay, so I think I think from now on we're spending all of our money on these upgrades. I just want to make sure this thing actually hits. Yeah, let's focus on accuracy first. And we'll we'll power pump it. So I don't want to go too crazy with buying support items. I guess we're good to go. I could upgrade the other guy's thing at some point, but if this weapon isn't at least partially upgraded, I feel like I'm not going to get a lot of use out of it. When it would probably be helpful to be doing double damage. Let's head northwest near the mountains. Do we have to find the cathedral? Right now I'm just looking for items. Wow, we are so blind. Truth. <laughs> right, chat? Like, actual hard truth. We are definitely blind. Yeah, I feel like towns should not have been hidden. Dungeons? Whatever. 
You can argue it's kind of neat that you can find hidden dungeons. But like, come on, how do you not see a cathedral? It's not even like in the mountains of the armor. No bugs a defense up. Require some extra money for the other characters. So now I'm super glad we didn't spend stuff on armor because I barely afforded that other upgrade. Anything else I need to do here? Not really. Well, I could get more vitality here. I guess there's no downside to it. Just looking to see if there's anything on the beach. We'll avoid going to the Sword Cathedral for a little bit, and if we get into more encounters, that's fun. Alright, so I can match circle or square. Oh. I stood on the perfect spot, apparently. Damn. Right, chat? Damn, that was good positioning. We can go back to the Withered Ruin. Which I might as well as, I guess. You know, for detonating earlier, this place looks fine to me. I have a question. If I go back to, like, the boss chamber... Oops. If I go back to the boss chamber, is there anything new to find? In games like Shadow Hearts, revisiting the boss chamber nets you items. I feel like we went in a very ridiculously long chase scene. Also, let's see if there's anything I could have done here. Like, right? We never found out how to get up here, right? Unless that was part of the other room and I just forgot. That's okay, we could get an encounter here. I don't mind that. We should just be one-shotting them at this point. And usually going first. So we're coming back with armor upgrades. Yeah, now we're taking literally zero. That's fine. So the hat upgrade plus the rune is good enough. At this point, we'll take our free money. Defense at least seems decent in this game. I just don't like need it, need it. Go in the corner there. Assuming there's nothing to interact with over there. But let's see what happens if we go back. See, I didn't. Yeah, maybe this loops around and I just forgot. I know a couple of times we go on a bridge. We're right here. Um, I could heal there if I need to. We're down here before. Oh, this is the room where we go back up. There. Don't mind me, just dodging encounters by mashing. But we could only mash for so long. I was surprised, apparently. Okay, so we're barely taking damage now, so I shouldn't have to waste too many healing items. If any. Ooh, not quite able to one-shot even with the weapon upgrade and level. That's a bit disappointing. Yeah, this money will go towards maybe the other guy's arm. He mostly just needs power on his arm. This character needs accuracy because they don't have a way to guarantee the shot, or at least if they do get it, I don't know about it yet. Whereas the other character has lock-on, and I'll probably be spamming that for quite some time, at least until we get stronger weapons. This will zigzag through here. It's slow. We'll take the encounter. I'm right near healing, I might as well as. 
Zeeds is kind of annoying. But if that's all it does, rather than injure me, I'm okay with that. So, for those that didn't see the previous playthrough, Disease just prevents me from healing. So, fortunately, we stocked up on a ton of medicines, and we got a medicine earlier from killing them. Speaking of which... It's probably the most annoying status ailment for now until we get to the stun stuff. Just because the fact that you can't heal will just get you killed in boss battles. Poison you can ignore, because you can out heal it. The other stuff not so much. Oh, oops. I thought it was down. Um... I'm assuming I don't have to do the whole thing again. Save. We haven't saved in a while, which is a bit concerning. We'll do a safety save in case this is like a optional boss or something stupid. Oh, okay, so it does reach back to that room, never mind. Healing health wise, perfect. Those two for later, maybe. We don't have a warp spell yet, so I don't want to go, like, too crazy with exploration. We do have those warp stones, but I don't know if they work in here yet. They don't work in here. Go with this spell, the magic guild. Oh. So instead of crest graph, it's crest calf. Okay. My bad. So they renamed the item. We could go get a spell later. to see our spell options later. Like a little demon horns. We're here before. Is there anything to get now that we're here? I was gonna say, there, be there better be actually something in here. Seriously? Oh, that is so disappointing. I thought it at least was gonna lead us in the corridors they went through. That's disappointing. I mean, I don't mind a shortcut out, but I would have preferred something else had happened there. And we'll get in another fight, that's fun. All this is money for the other characters, as far as I'm concerned. Ooh. Balloons. Multiple enemies are not our friends here. Ominous Inquiry? It's an ability name. Guess I should kill the Ominous Inquiry one. We're only taking three damage. The defense seems at least fairly strong, this early. So they do a different streams to make ominous inquiries. Quite something. So I guess we pick our first spell. I don't think it should be a damage spell. It'll probably be heal, because we don't have access to healing items yet. But we should at least see what our options are. Break shield, air screen, heal. So there is heal. We can learn heal. We revive. Wow, we could get revive this early? That's a big fix. Quick is potentially good mage weapon? 
don't know what that is. Rise and shine. Assuming that awakens people. Oh, is this it? These are the 16 spells of the game? Well, I don't really want... Quick is like a mid-game thing. I don't think it really matters early in the game. So the question is more, do I want to name these different abilities? Break, I think, is the rock attack. The yeah, early revive is interesting. The chat, what do we want to rename the heal spell? Does chat want it named after them? Actually... I could name them after Guardian Angel. I feel like that's somewhat appropriate. Oh, there's no dot, though. I'll correct the spelling, I think, next time. I'll do that for now. That'll be the temp name. Now the question is... If I dissolve it, can we just start naming all the spells right now? We can. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, chat, what abilities do you want? <laughs> we got Flame. I think Rob was Flame last time. Did you want to call dibs again on that? Spark, I think, is... Amphimeter. Say Ert Amp. We'll raise it. Dangle will take whatever. Anything you wanted, Chris? Hmm. There's not a lot of abilities this time so far. Maybe we'll give Dango Freeze. Use whatever spell is the most useless. All. Dango. <laughs> like the E there. Okay, so we'll erase that. Now we're renaming everything. Hmm. We'll do Rob. Yeah, Guardian Angel's supposed to the name a little differently, but I'll, I'll correct it, I think, later. I don't have it right in front of me, sadly. I feel like they would appreciate it. Okay, so we'll do... The other takers for names while we're here. At some point, something has to get kirked. I guess... Age Weapon sounds kind of kirkish. He's all about melee. Kirk Weapon. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't see a rage move. If there's a rage move, I would have picked that. Guess we'll give Chris... The Aqua? I wish I had the dots. It made me happier. Yeah, any other abilities we want to name with people that are here? We got Kirk Weapon, we got Sir Rob, the Guardian Angel. Hmm. I guess that's fine for now. Not feeling inspired at the other names at the moment. Let's go back to... I guess we'll take Guardian Angel for now for healing. Let's see. So now I just have a convenient way to heal after every combat if I need it. We should probably see what the custom man does. Protects party from normal attacks. So, so I do like the concept of the Guardians giving it like a new move I can use every now and then. The question more is... How do I do anything with this? 
So we have the cap, but how do we actually equip it? Or can we not equip it with the other character? I didn't see a slot for it. We already technically have the heal spell. Sorry about that. Hope it's not literally a consumable. That would be kind of disappointing. If it is, then I'll probably put offensive magic there. Unless it's just unless it's like once per battle. Okay, if you assign the spell slot and then it's once per battle, I'm okay. But if I use it once and it's gone, I'm upset. <laughs> just want you to know, I'm not gonna go restock that every time. That's purely dependent on how they implemented that, I suppose. So I'm not really seeing anything else fine. But I could try to get on this like ominous cliff side to see if there's anything. Nope. Should probably take the encounter at some point. Oh, <laughs> Wasn't given a choice there. You were surprised. Game did not like that apparently. I'm gonna kill one, use it, and then check to see how it use how it works. I mean, even if we don't have to like necessarily. But all that's all I want to know. If we use this item, does it restore itself, or do we have to go to the magic place? And if we go to the magic place, we have to pay for it each time. Okay, so we can use it here. Gets rid of it. Oh, that's. Mm. I mean, it doesn't permanently get rid of it, which is fine. But it's like, mm. right, chat. Mm. That is such a huge nerf compared to Wild Arms One. Holy. Yeah, that's that's big oof. I mean, in which case, like, why wouldn't I just always put revive there? Because we don't have revives. That's that's a bit of a big oof. Go to Sword Cathedral. Unite Squad Ceremony. One of night's trained in guerrilla tactics was established to fend off terrorists. Increasingly strong, brutal, and fearsome monsters, as well as an unstable world. The night squad organized as a backup for Maria Buell has... The advantage of independent authority, allowing it to respond rapidly to a variety of situations. Agile Remote Mission Squad, the arms. An Agile Remote Mission Squad, wow. Short for arms. I love how it had to bold the letters. It's like, listen, you will understand this is an acronym. <laughs> right, chat? You will understand this. Hmm. Commander says, the significance of arms' existence lies therein. I'm counting on your actions and efforts. Dismissed. Oh no, the sword in the stone. Hey, isn't that? Yeah, they say it's essential to a formal night ceremony. It's the first time I've seen it. Those just knighted. 
Blessings will be conferred upon you by the Sword Mages. Try to draw the Guardian Blade, or get La, which banished the old blaze. He who thinks he is no hero, go ahead and draw the sword. Here, Sword Mages, show us the birth of a new hero. Draw the Master Sword Link, pretty much. Wow, you drew the mana sword. I'm wasting my time. There's no way. What'd you say? Since the ceremony first started, hundred or so years ago, no one has ever drawn the sword. Do you understand what this means? It means it's the setup from the beginning, so it can't be drawn. As a ceremony and as a symbol of power, the sword is meaningless. That may be so. But doesn't someone have to become the hero? It's not impossible that it's me. Ever since I was little, I've looked up to the heroes who protected everyone. I wonder if the protagonist will be able to draw the sword. Yeah, that's true. We're on the edge of our seat on this one, chat. Is that so strange? The fact that I'm embarrassed means I've really matured. Who cares? It's your turn. Good call on the voice on that one. Alright, what... It's a complete mystery, says chat. Ready for the music to stop. Like the dramatic pause. There we go, there's the dramatic pause. <laughs> Once there is the place of disaster, that St. Phil guy with its crimson flames. Also credits. I thought we burned the church, I'm not gonna lie, that was quite a cut away. Flames from the Earth scorch the heavens. The blazing whirlwinds threaten the planet's very future. And Khan clung to their only hope of surviving this life or death crisis. <laughs> the Sword Mages. Yeah, it did seem like we, we pulled the sword, everything burns. Born as the daughter of a nameless petty nobleman, she was drawn to the call of... Dot, dot, dot. The Guardian Blade named Argit Lam. I thought the fire was for the hometown, like, what is here? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now that we're the pro tag, the town can burn. It's true. That's a camera angle. No way to fight. The people cast their hopes on the mage as a sword and believed in the future. Foot chat. Giant foot. The night of the seventh day after attaining the sword. Oh no, not the seventh day, seventh moon. Oh no, chat. Wrapped in a turret of light, the mages vanished from Filgaia together with the blaze of disaster. I'm assuming that's the werewolf that was mentioned earlier. Goodbye, werewolf. You were very briefly seen. Leaving behind Argit Lam, plunged deep in the earth. Time passed. The guardian blade Argit Lam began to be treated as the symbol of power. The battle on the sword mages... Of the sword of mages ruling the hearts of the people is a familiar, ubiquitous legend. The people had no idea that the familiar legends of the past would have meaning in the present. And in the future. Dun dun dun. The downside about reading that, I don't get to see the art. Since I'm too busy trying to focus on reading it. I have to say though, I'm not a fan of their title screen. I think Shadowheart said something similar, it was just like this bright white light, and I'm like, you could tell what they did last. You could tell. It'd be funny if we didn't pull it. <laughs> it's true. I'd like to think the white screen was from us, like, falling on our head. We just knocked ourselves unconscious, that's why it went to white. Wow, how pompous. Don't do anything to encourage it. Ha ha ha. Even I thought for a second I might come out. Oh, it was a jump. Oh, it was a tease. In the end, no one was able to get the Argonla and the sword out. Everything's fine like this. In fact, the sword could be retrieved. I mean, there's some reason for it, right? Yeah, there we go. We, they, th yeah, we got, we, <laughs> we failed, hooray. What do you mean? Whoever re retrieves the sword is the hero, right? Hero suddenly appearing means there will be some disturbance needing a hero. You sure have an interesting way of thinking. Well, but it could be true. Everything's fine like this. No one wants war. Well, so much for the, the man and sword. 
Do you know there's all the arms we carry are manufactured in Gil Galad? The country has a resource called a fossil and uses it to develop mechanical techniques. Why is fossil in quotes? What, you have a medium too? Just by refitting us, our technical options increase. How very convenient. I don't know the backgrounds of the others, but it's not how it looks. I'm an ex-mercenary soldier, involved in the Slayheim War five years ago. Of course I fought for the Liberation Army. The arms emblem being designed now has a watchdog motif. There's something not right. Feels like the national dog. What do you think? Looks like our next mission has not been officially determined yet. But it won't be long before some booming voice calls us. I mean, it's almost guaranteed we'll be assigned to the front line. Hmm. Oop. <laughs> One day I'll talk to him. This is the Reaper's power. Show us, Fennel. It's not possible that matter suddenly develops out of nothing without reason. The monsters just keep multiplying. Where in the world are they all coming from? I'm so nervous. My first appearance. I wish my mom could back home could see me now. Looks like we're a part of the special forces. In other words, we're being assigned to the most dangerous front. How many of us will still be alive six months from now? Yay, optimism. I'll talk to you. We're counting on you. Best of luck to you all. on this job, I sure feel sorry for guys with girlfriends. For me, ever since I was born, I never once imagined such troublesome things. But what about you? Oh, okay. For some reason I'm nervous. There's no reason why I should be nervous, but... Hmm. Alright, so I think we talked to almost everybody except for the people in the bottom. Seems somewhat more important. Speaking of which... Hey, are you having fun yet, Bashley? So, chat, how long do you think it's going to be before the demon attack? Because remember in Wild Arms 1, we basically gathered the party and then the city got destroyed. So, like, if the demons got summoned here, they would destroy the hometown. That, that, would, that would complete the little stamps in our little bingo sheet. They're like, oh no, the demons are attacking. If only we had someone that could pull the sword. And then it's all over. Yes, Commander. You go a bit wild. I'll look the other way today. I guess you could say we're part of a wild arms group. We'll be busy soon enough. Have fun while you can. But I don't want to hear any complaints later on that we never get days off. I understand, sir. We're affiliated with Maria Bull, but it won't stay that way forever. The new reforms go beyond national boundaries, international peacekeeping activities. Again, those letters are so hard to read. We have to make sure that ARMS isn't involved in anything shameful. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. You're the one I'm most worried about. S sorry Oh, never mind. More importantly, there's a lot of good food here. Eat and enjoy yourself today. Surely nothing will happen on the day of the feast and festival. Remember, tomorrow it's back to the front. Roger. Uh oh, chat. Uh oh. Hey, what's hey, what's that? Oh, he's got like the giant anime eyes. Oh, the demons are invading here first, not the other town. Oh, I was a little close. Oh no, the power of 3D. Wow, he got monsterized real quick. What kind of joke is this, huh? Orders, please. Someone please give us orders. Calm down. First things first. We have to get out of here. I'm gonna blast through the front gate. Oh, that's one way to make demons. <laughs> Oh, I saw the alerts, but I didn't hear the alerts. I think the gate volume's too loud for me. But Eggbear, indeed. 
Let's kill our former comrades. I'm ready. I'm level four and everything. <laughs> Chad, I reloaded my gun. I'm so ready for this. Door is securely shut. Hey, hey. Oh, I got monster eyes. Ah! Oh. What? What is it? What's going on? I don't like it. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Inner voice says, if that's the case, you have to survive. Tear the others apart. And if you're the last one standing, there's no problem. Ooh, kill your friends. That's my favorite. Can't possibly do that. Exactly, Budana is asking why. Besides, that monster was originally human. He was a friend. Is he, though? Is it fear? Or is it just hesitation? All right. Wipe them all out. I will grant you power. Huh? Who are you? Who speaks in my heart? Me. I am you. Soon I'll be me. It'll be none other than you. Ah! Ah! Sorry, cliche. Um. Okay. Ooh, we're like a monster. Well, that's fun. This game got 100% better. Uh, uh, am I able to fight? Oh, look at our extra health. Oh, I probably should have healed before then. Goodbye, Proto Blazer. There could be only one. Oh, we dunk him? Nice. Good dunk. Rejection? That feels like normal. Oh, I'm just checking the game out later to see why it's doing that. That's a lot of XP. I like the despair as we kill them. Welcome, Kirk. I mean, can I just... Can I just power level off of this? What's the downside to this? I guess I didn't use all my... personal points. Such sadness in that figure? It is. Kind of Question though, how much do I need to level? Quite a bit. How many points do I have unused? One. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to just murdering people. Listen, chat, this is free XP. I'm taking the free XP. We are not gonna say no to like 60 XP this early in the game. Critical. How much do you do? 25? Not bad. Hmm. We're doing well mentally. Alright, so which way? Okay, so that guy looks like progress. So what happens if I go this way? Oh, it's still secured. Oh, I can't throw daggers anymore. We're run. Well, time to just keep murdering. Well, Chad, I think we're gonna hit level five. Goodbye, all of our friends. You were worth the XP. See, now we're playing like true D&D &D style. But like, listen, if we kill it, we level faster. I'm just saying, Chad. Oh, we see a mirror. These hands, these legs, and this body. Is this me? Can I change back? Is it inevitable that my body will turn to dust like that monster's body? Will I ever go home again? We had like a howl. Uh, what's in here? There's the banquet. I mean, this is like amazing XP, chat. <laughs> You can take whatever you want away from this, but I'm like, hell yeah, there's a lot of XP. 
Like, we're getting like 6 to 8 XP-ish on some levels. Though they're worth 30? Hell yeah, I'm killing them. It might even drop items. Hit level 5, nice. See, if he hits level 6, we can uh, potentially get HP up again. See, these are the encounters that I'll take. Ooh, look at our HP, 202. Thank you, HP up. You're the most important thing to me. <laughs> Rejection. They're like, do not want. You like their walk animations? Well, Bashley's gonna be our strongest party member by far. I mean, he, him just straight up getting 60 XP. I mean, we're killing everybody he's ever known, but it's fine. XP chat. I'm assuming they won't turn back anyway. The power level is real. And now we can avoid all future encounters with him. <laughs> Since I don't think the game intended me to farm all these people. Hillberry acquired, nice. We'll see if I need to heal or not. I'm gonna go greedy and not heal. But if there's a boss, I gotta waste a turn. But yeah, this saves us a lot of time. Because again, we are just one-shotting them, so the combat-wise, we can't really get more efficient than that. Not until at least we get an AoE. And we're getting heal berries. So technically, we're helping out our next party members, too. Hillberries are so good. Alright, uh, so we killed everybody in there. Shattered Mirror. Guess I could go in the side room and continue. I wonder if we're gonna get this form permanently. And we're gonna get, like, a gun and the ability to transform into a demon. Damn, we hit level 6. He's literally double level compared to everybody else. What a beast. And now I don't want to level for a little bit if I can avoid it. Oh, I couldn't see the enemy. Camera angle. Oh, you can't run from the battle. Okay, that's fair. Damn, we're at 251. So I gotta be real careful here, because I do want to make sure we only level with HP up. Because I feel like that's gonna save us a lot of time in the future, if I just upgrade that to max. So the fact that we went from like 120 to 250 is pretty silly. Why not go full rude hero too, pretty much. Uh, so these guys are not really worth fighting. Oh, I can read the books while we're in here, sure. Be a book entitled Demon Trapped in the Event Horizon? That's something. There's something about one must never forget about the Blazing Demon. He wasn't destroyed, but was only contained. The seal will eventually be broken. The Blazing Demon will crush the Sword Mages, then kill Gaia. No one knows when the seal will be broken. Whether it be a hundred years, or a thousand years, or tomorrow, we have no magic to resist. Origin of Disaster. Disasters use volumes of negativity to bring... ...on disasters. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? What does that mean? Disasters cause themselves? Spreading negativity knows no limits. Disasters continue to spread without end. An array of light doesn't shine. Beyond negativity is only a road to destruction. Know that what strangles you in the end is your negativity. Book entitled The Chosen One. Disasters are disasters, obviously. Clearly. Before the sword's mages was chosen by Argetlam, she was only a girl who never held a sword. She wasn't a prominent soldier, nor a knight who'd sworn loyalty to her country. She was just a girl. That the Argetlam couldn't be retrieved only deepens the mystery. If someone who holds the Argetlam appears again, the mystery will be solved. The book entitled The Red World. Read it. The blaze is the power of ruin. If the demon wraps itself in the blaze, only destruction remains. Nothing lives on the dying earth. The earth is colored red by blood. The flames of the red lotus will burn everything into a world dyed red. No one, no one ray of hope left in the world. What awaits is death and the journey to the other side. Without hope, it is the dark world. People cries... People's cries echo. Dark clouds circle. Souls are locked in grief. 
We really gotta tell the Swords Cathedral to rethink their literature. I'm just saying, chat. You see a book entitled The Sword Mages' Power. The Sword Mages' Power is the Guardian Blade Argent Lom and the Dark Wolf Lucid. Oh, the werewolf is supposed to be Lucid. Oh. Oh, I think that was the same wolf from before, right? From Wild Arms 1? The Argent Lom diverts all possible disasters. Black Wolf Lucid shields the Sword Mages from all possible disasters. Or did they name the wolf something else in that game? Watch the Sword Mages fight is to watch the Queen of War. Gives the people a glimmer of hope. A book entitled Pilgrimage to the Sanctuary. Wanna read it? Sure. Sword Cathedral is located in the Sword Mages' Sanctuary. This is the land the Sword Mages acquired under the direction of Argent Long. Exercise the disasters covering the earth. A ray of hope was directed towards us. Many worshippers visit here with a hero who saved the earth was born. Target Lom is publicly displayed a few times a year for worshippers. A book entitled Spirit of Sacrifice. You want to read it? Sure. Into the world played with despair, light shined. That's the Sword Magus. Alone, the Sword Magus confronted the demon. She alone shouldered the burden. The Sword Magus. I see him waiting for combat, by the way. But the Sword Magus wasn't able to destroy the Blazing Demon, only contain it. In exchange for world peace, the Sword Magus was offered as a sacrifice. Damn, he was camping me hard, Chad. He wasn't even pretending like he was gonna do anything else. Okay, single is perfect here. So if we get close to leveling, but don't actually level, that would be ideal. We probably want a buffer of like 60 XP or so. So that way, if we leave and go back to town, I can get the HP up without anything bad happening. Okay, so we could get into like two more fights at tops. Deep book entitled Blazing Demon and the Sword Mages. Do you want to read it? Sure. For appearance, many knights and heroes were destroyed by the Blazing Demon. Even the weapons developed with the lost technology were a cool breeze on the Blazing Demon. The Sword Mages, armed with the Argent Long, was the entire resistance. It's still a mystery why the only why only the Sword Mages was able to battle the Blazing Demon on equal footing. So yeah, I run the risk of actually leveling again, which I don't want to do. This is this is what we call the Final Fantasy VI Syndrome. I want to only level when I have things that help me the most. Do I heal? Probably not. So we're gonna hope there's only at most one more force encounter and it is not a boss. I hope for a single enemy here. That's perfect. Again, we want to get close. And if we have a buffer of, like, 30, it means if we do have to take, like, an overworld encounter later, it'd be fine. I imagine we're going to pick up the sword. I'd like to actually avoid the encounters here if I can. There we go. Health mission. Making progress. This XP is 84, so if I get one more force encounter, it should be fine. This will try to pull the sword. There we go. Pulled the sword. Woman of Light says, What is your wish? I have to get home, I promised. Is that an important promise? Dot, 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 dot. If there's no boss fight, then I could have maybe gotten them into like one more encounter. Woman of the Light dot, dot, dots us. I thought it'd be fine if no one who could use the sword ever showed again. I believed it was enough that I alone suffered. If you are ready to take responsibility for it all, if you're willing to risk all to fulfill your promise, grab the sword, Arjit Lam. Made a promise. A foolish promise. But for me, it's a promise I have to keep. Ah. Uh, mm. Oh. Kirk says, for they should pull the sword from Stone Chubby Com. Wait, we've just come again. Looks like we changed to... Yeah, apparently. The power of sword made us human again. Who are you? I guess this is the main villain, or one of them. Man on crutches says, I'm... 
Oh. Well, thanks, game. I don't know. What what do we call this character chat? <laughs> it just he just imed us and we yeah, I'm man on crutches. Yeah, like <laughs> I feel like it'd be rude to call him crutches, but like, honestly, we have nothing to go on. We didn't even get a whole word. I don't like, I, I it just like, come on, Xander, final, final boss is nine characters. Like, what is this? I'm so upset, chat. What are these name selects? Why game is kind of tempting. Even it's not okay to have to be character. <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming he's one of the bad guys. Gotta head out for now, says Rom. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to think, like, <laughs> call him, like, prob evil or prob bad. I mean, there there is a very strong chance this person is not a good person. I mean, he came in during the demon summoning. I don't trust this guy at all. Call him vile, maybe. Bill Ain, yo, oh, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, there's there's no way this guy's gonna be like a good. If this guy actually turns out to be a goody two shoes, I would I would be very shocked. I like Bill Ain. We just have to point at his name when he inevitably does something horrible in this game, or something that we just find disagreeable. We'll point to his name. I'm Bill Ain. Villain Vol Volvaria. Oh man, that was a that was like a tongue twister. Man bearing a cross called you. Take my hand. This bond is the only hope that continues from the past into the future. In other words, our meeting here on Earth is fate itself. Then we just pass out. Yeah, that that was quite a name. He just he just threw it out there. There was no hesitation. Large majestic warrior. How come that how come most of the characters don't have names like this? <laughs> Please tell me we don't name this character. Could you imagine? Demon summoning. For the experiment to go so well. Silver haired key user? Thing. What a frightening power. Do we really need to use this power? We are trying to change history. For that, we need a potent power. It's the greatest power known. Dot, 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 dot from the silver haired key user. What are you thinking, Hyena? What is he planning, making contact with that parallel universe? Did he urge the demon summoning on us? I can't believe that man is sympathetic to our ideals. I mean, come on, the other guy even has silver hair. There's no way he's not bad. Japan cannot help themselves with silver slash white hair, chat. Let's let's all be real honest. You see a silver hair character and they're young, you're like, evil. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just nope. <laughs> You don't believe in these powers. The only thing I believe in is Sir Vinsfeld himself. I'm counting on your work, Kaina. Or Kaina? Not really sure. What's happening to me? Hmm. Burning up. Something's rushing through me. My body's numb, but my senses feel strangely sharp. I feel something strange inside. I... I... 
I am. You are yourself, but not for long. You will soon evolve from you into me. The strangeness you feel inside you, it is the scar of your former self, crying out in pain as you begin to evolve into me. No, I I'm scared. What do I do? I don't understand. How can I lose myself? What does that mean? Who? Who? Who am I? Destroy. Destroy. Destroy what? Destroy it. Destroy myself. I haven't changed at all. My life hasn't changed at all. I guess he's in denial. I'm assuming he's just in denial here. Cliche. You had me so worried. Thought you'd never wake up again. I'm alright. Look, I'm all better now, see? Don't overexert yourself. The attack was only a week ago. Attack? What attack? Terrorists attacked the ceremony celebrating the new squad. Saying it was a terrorist attack. Oh, it wasn't it. Well, I guess we're thinking this because it's in black. Okay, we we thought that but didn't say it. I'll tell you, Auntie. Oh, I'll tell Auntie you're awake. Cliche, wait! What? What's wrong? Am I. I'm still me, right? She dot 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 dots us. Huh? Of course you're you, Bashley. Who else could you be? Yeah, you're right. Forget what I said. <laughs> I love them sliding down those stairs. Baker's wife says, Are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm sorry if I worried you. A nobleman named Sir Valeria carried you back here. You should go thank him when you feel better. Hmm. Valeria. That's right. I remember meeting a man named Valeria, and I... Damn, I can only remember bits and pieces. Why? What happened to me? Ashley... Oh, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I was just thinking out loud. You were the only one who survived the attack. Don't forget to go thank Sir Valeria. It's the net. It's the mature thing to do. <laughs> yeah, the attack ended up ended up being mostly us killing all the demons. Okay, I will. Oh, one day there'll be something in here. Mr. Valeria is a nobleman, so watch your tongue. Be careful. Oh, you worry me so much. Surprised we haven't cut over to another character. Honestly, I feel like the demon attack would have been... Oh, speaking of which. Hey, you there. What's wrong with you? Help, says girl too. Hey, you. Settle down. So, you're a user of magic, a crest sorceress? I goofed with a teleport gem and wound up in the wrong spot. I ran out of gems and money to boot. So I walked and walked and made it to this town. Well, what about food? What have you been eating? Hmm. Actually, I haven't been. I smelled your freshly baked bread, and it drew me here. Um, auntie, could we... Say no more. Young lady, take as much of our bread as you could carry. You mean... No, I couldn't. Now, don't be shy. Come on. Tell me which kind you like. Thank you so much. I'll try a jelly roll, please. Oh, no, a jelly roll. How many would you like? We should have called her Vicky, yeah. Maybe maybe you could rename her to Vicky if you want. Just one, ma'am. Venture rules take everything not nailed down, exactly. Actually, casting spells takes a lot of energy. I get hungry a little 
little more quickly than other people. On an Odagiri. True. How many do you want? Um, five jelly rolls, please. Really appreciate this. So, you have to go to the Valeria household, too. What a coincidence, huh? Hey, I know. Let me take you there to thank you for the jelly rolls. Take me there. You don't even look like you know the way. Well, um, actually, I know roughly where it is, so we can look together, okay? Okay? Yeah, I guess so. Oh my gosh, Wade! Haven't even introduced myself yet. My name is Girl 2. Girl 2 Elni Elniak. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Bashley. The pleasure's all mine. She's officially with us. We're three levels above her. So we're going up to Flumrella. Her defense is terrible compared to ours. That's fine. We gotta make sure we go to the personal store before I forget about it. We can also recharge our magic. So I could erase her spells then. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. They still have crests. Crest caps are just stuff the other characters can use. So funny enough, we already renamed all of her abilities. So that's kind of appropriate. I guess I could... I guess we could get Kirk Weapon on demand. There we go. We have Kirk Weapon as our crest cap. We can really tell what things do yet. Oh, can I just burn villagers, by the way? Damn it. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. He's dodging well. Um, I don't think I care about arm upgrades right now. How much money do I have? Not a lot. I did burn through a lot of it earlier, to be fair. But I think more importantly, let's make sure she gets the HP ups. So sadly, pretty much all of her points are going here. Because there's no reason for me to not get this. It's a special ability up to use by minus one. No, that's not a bad one to get. Just so I could start spamming it more. I don't think I care about resistances at all here. Although, sudden death resistance I might actually get later, but not until much later. We're at max HP for this character. Make sure she gets more HP a level. Is this about a donut? Exactly. Let's look at our stat differences. She's at 95, I'm at 251 HP. So I have a slight level lead on her, one could say. Yeah, unfortunately, more sudden death attacks. One of my least favorite mechanics in games. Hello says, Oh, hello. You believe those darn terrorists? First monsters, then terrorists. If it isn't one thing, it's another. Welcome, Black Spidey. Hope you're doing well. Hey, dude. Hey, I'm so glad you're alright. Really something. Hey, all those badass monsters at the ruins. In my humble opinion, Ashley escaped unharmed because of the charm given him by Hello. I love that we just called the character Hello. Definitely not going to be confusing later. I guess we should save for the first time in a while. I'm doing okay. I think we could go at least a little further. I'm happy we at least got one character to meet up. We ended up going a kind of a long detour before that happened, but that's fun. Do we have, like, a high-level Guardian, and then we just have Girl 2? I don't remember if I actually went into the inn or not. Let's go double-check this. No, I don't think I did. This was my fault. Perhaps it's because we depended on you too much for the ceremony. Upstairs we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is where we fell down earlier. Disregard. We're here earlier. 
here. I never went through the front door before. We left through the front door. Never took the front door. Uh, is there anything else worth doing? You're lying. I'm people have to put up the sharp hard knocks. When I was young, I... And this says Snip. I'm guessing it just means we ignore him. We could go back to the cat house. Our chat would let it want to check on the cats. Let's see, how are the cats doing? Oh wait, this is not the cat house. This house. Don't forget to... Bit terrorist acts of the holy site of the sword mages and sacrilege. Alright, so we didn't go in here before. We got a heal berry. Hey, where was the cat house? Or was this the cat house? Or, or was it on the other side? Maybe it's on the other side. Hey, nothing new to steal from these. Monsters were banned enough. Now we have terrorists to worry about. Oh my, what will ever become of us? So you were the sole survivor. Pretty amazing, lover boy. I knew you were special. It's too bad about the others. Don't feel sad or get depressed about them, lover boy. Then we must keep them in our hearts and live life to the fullest, okay? While you're here, you listen to one complaint. Come on, would you? Or? At the town entrance is a girl who's bonkers about Valeria's chateau. Get near her and she corners you and blabs endlessly about it. Where it is, its shape. What a bore. Okay, so that's a hint as to where to go. Interesting. We'll go to the other side real quick. Oh, you know what? I, I think it's the gig of this house. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. So they do have updated dialogue, which is kind of nice. Oh my gosh, Bashley, you're so inconsiderate. Here I am trying to get you to notice me instead of cliche. You're not even around voice for the character. You just feel it, chat. There we go. Look at that. We're having happy times here. Definitely, definitely a massacre didn't just happen a moment ago. Hope you okay there, game. Hmm. Never actually shot my gun earlier. How much is our next upgrade out of curiosity? I don't really want another bullet yet. So I mostly just want it to be accurate, so that way we don't whip it in boss battles. So getting it 90% of the time might be good enough. Going max might be a little overkill. Lair Chateau is like a big thing at the top of a cliff. Oh, the place I went to earlier. Oh, and then you didn't let me do anything there. Remember, Chad, I called it, quote, the ominous cliff? And then I was disappointed nothing was there. Apparently we missed a giant mansion. Our characters are blind, I'm telling you. I'm gonna go exactly to where I thought it was before. We are so blind. Anyway, we might as well just get into a couple fights. Is there anything worth fighting on the beach? I know, that's that's a face palm moment for sure. I think these guys are actually worth some decent cash. We'll get to like two fights here. I want to see the damage we're doing. So we're doing hilariously more damage. We went from like 40 to 111. I don't think her attack will kill. Yeah. If she levels again, it might. So we take zero currently. Thank you, Kurt, for resubscribing. She takes 17. We could use Guardian Angel on ourselves. You have to search for all the cities like that in DVD for some reason. I guess I could have hit the other target. Doesn't really matter. She's not gonna attack again. Oh yeah, by the way, Black Spidey, did you want to name a spell after you since you're here? Let's go back to town real quick. Poke. We're getting future money for maybe some small weapon upgrades later. I 
eventually we'll get back over here. That's up to me. Let's go ahead and do it then. Just gotta get back to town. I mean, she kind of needs the XP, to be honest. And this encounter seems to at least give a lot of money. I don't mind doing this encounter. So Bashley's immune. She can heal herself. Wish she, if she was one level stronger, I think she probably could have gotten the kill there. Maybe it's worth unequipping his defense thing and giving it to girl so she takes less damage. Also, I should have changed the targets there. That was stupid. Oh well. I just hit through another animation. Poke. So if we really need to purchase something later, I could probably get a weapon upgrade. Let's try one thing. Well, I could give her Vitality Apple so she stops taking damage. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, let's let's do that, actually. Sorcery should probably just go on her. Magic Resistance. Uh... I don't know if it matters yet. I'll put it on Bashley. Crank up might be good on him. I'm undecided. I guess it just depends on if we get another character, but I think this is fine for now. If she's gonna be with us for a little bit, I want her at least to be tankier. I feel like we're probably gonna be forced to use her, even if I get choices to swap her out later. Oh, I can go this way. Come on, jump down. Seriously? You can't jump down from there? Why? Eh, whatever. He's doing the animation like I could. I'd like to get into one more fight. I didn't mean to cancel that. That was a habit. So if she levels, then we should be good, I think, for damage. And then I can avoid encounters. And as I said before, these at least seem to give a lot of money. Compared to the other encounters. And there's more enemies. Let's see how much of a difference the Vitality made in her defenses. If she was taking, like, what, 17-ish damage a hit? Let's see with two Vitality ups how much she takes, or they'll both target him. Right, then I'm gonna give them another turn. Vitality was almost one to one for damage reduction. That's not bad. She should level here. Between the level up and everything else, hopefully she'll survive some hits. Let's go ahead and unequip our defense up, honestly. Because if we're taking zero now, it might be better just to give her the other ability. Yeah, let's make her slightly tankier. Bought this on the PS Store on PS3, but that was like 2012 or so when I bought it. I have never played this before, so this is all, all new to me. Oops. I got baited. Try that again. Hmm. Right, let's go name some spells. Is there anybody else in the chat that would like a spell named after them? Let me know. Let's go ahead and erase... Perk weapons, so that way we can create the cat. Hmm. Would be Black Spidey. We have Air Screen, we got Vortex. Reflect, Revive. Black Spidey Break, maybe. Should... 
Oh, actually, I should like to put them there. There we go. Portalized. We'll get rid of it for now. But we're gonna learn it as soon as we get another Crest Glyph. There's so many spells I want to use, but we only have one Crest. I want to try Kirk Weapon. We haven't used that at all. We've seen Break. Break is good, but I want that on the Crest versus a one-time use. Is it worth giving up any of the other abilities for it? No problem. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully get every single spell in our party there. If not, we'll get some caps for it. I wonder if this game will end up having the, uh... Advanced runes like the first game had. I think what we'll do, chat, we'll go see what this place is all about, but then we'll probably take a break here. For Wild Arms. Valeria Chateau. Um, I'd like to meet with Mr. Valeria. I'm sorry, but is he expecting you? No, not really. In that case, can I ask you to wait in the parlor on the third floor? I would be happy to. Yeah, I have a feeling it'll be a big damage increase for bosses. I want the elemental magic to be, like, full-time. But, like, buffs to weapons, it, it's a good one-off. Please, let me show you the way. I have an invitation letter. Why didn't you say that sooner? Sorry. Can't help but get nervous. I hate waiting like this. Ben will have to have good manners and everything. Oh yes, chat. Here comes Bill Ain. I'm gonna be so happy, chat, if this person turns out to be actually evil. In which case, good job, chat. Great name. Sorry to keep you waiting. There was something I had to finish. No, don't get up. Let me introduce myself. Are we already standing? I'm Bill Ain. Bill Ain Vol Valeria, Lord of the House of Valeria. I am, uh, Bashley Winchester, like Winchester Rifle, sole survivor of the destroyed Special Squad. Following in the steps of Rendefarious, oh, that's a good one. If we fight, if we name another potential villain, let's call them Rendefarious for sure. And the lovely lady is the famed Elen Elniac Witch Girl, perhaps. That one is indeed special. Well, Bashley, what would you like to know most? Everyone thinks that Arms was disbanded because of what happened at the ceremony. But actually, our aim was not simply to prevent terrorism as we announced. Actually, it was a magnificent experiment in demon summoning. Demon summoning? Yeah, that whole wolf logo in particular feels very Shadow Hearts, by the way, chat. I'm really curious if they actually stole from each other, like, genuinely. Go, like, go look at the Shadow Hearts logo and then look at that. I'm like, hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. Somebody was copying somebody's homework that day. A magic ritual to prevent beings from a parallel... Oh, to bring beings from a parallel universe to ours. You mean you brought us here for that? Dot, 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 dot. Yes, and arms was destroyed, but that wasn't the end of everything. You miraculously survived, and control of arms passed to the house of Valeria. I'm saying that arms is being reborn under the Valerians for a different purpose. The new arms will be, will belong to no nation, but will be an autonomous fighting force. Bashley Winchester, you were selected by arms. I was?
Uh-oh, we're seeing other people. Bill Ain's sister, there we go. Funny considering Shadow Hearts and Wild Arms, Spirit Successors did that double Kickstarter campaign. Yes, that is very funny in hindsight for sure. Which we'll have to keep an eye out, by the way. I don't remember if we got any updates on that. Chat can fill me in though. I know uh, the Shadow Hearts one was Penny Blood. I don't remember if Wild Arms was literally just Wild Arms or not, or if it got renamed. Here you are. Is something wrong with my sister? No, nothing. These two are guests of mine. You could at least greet them. Oh no, we're naming the sister? Oh no. Oh no, chat. Shake your head. Well, what do we call her? I know, we're apparently naming everybody. I'm so sad I missed the Kickstarter for Penny Blood, though. You have no idea. I'm gonna check to see if I can do something to that later. As, like, a late backer. It was called Armed Fantasia. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, I, I might still be able to donate towards the chat, honestly. Because the other one also let me do it. Even if the game ends up being bad, at least we can enjoy being bad together, potentially. Girl in danger? Oh no. <laughs> Sisnister? Oh no. Oh, that is... That is gonna be hard to say, but let, let's see if this fits. I feel like... Sinicia is also something. Is this gonna fit? Oh, it barely fits. See, okay, here's the problem. I don't feel like she's going to be the villain. I feel like she's probably gonna be, like, quote-unquote, the sacrifice. That That's my gut feeling. I don't base this on anything other than cliché. Does not like looping the music in this game for some reason. Compass, maybe. Yeah, Penny Blood is not coming out until next year. I'll see if I could get in on it. Hmm. Chat feeling any of those names in particular? Yeah, I'll look into that after the stream. Because I don't mind being a late backer for it, potentially. We'll eventually get into the Suikoden game chat. Maybe for my birthday we'll start it? I'll think about it. Originally I was going to gift myself Tails, but uh, it's been like two years, so I don't think it's happening. Neighbor Penny Blood. Too many letters. A compass is good. I think that's probably more likely. I feel like if she's going to be assisting, it'll be unintentional. Let's get a compass in here. A compter? That's a name. Okay, let's call her a compass. We got seconded it, and now we're gonna make it official. Let me finish. The old arms was destroyed, so is the new arms made up of just me? No, not just you. You are the third member. We must be ready for anything, so we need a crest sorcerer. Which is why I asked for help from the famous Elniac witch girl. This girl too? Her names range from clever to stupid to meta to impossible to say, pretty much. But I... I... My name is Girl 2 Elniac. The Elniac Witch Girl is my older sister. She got hurt in an experiment with a magical artifact and couldn't come. So, I came instead. 
<laughs> girl too, girl too. I guess I won't be of any use. It has to be my sister, right? I would like to use my magic to be of use to somebody too. I want to be like my sister. Of course, my magic isn't as good as hers. It's only about the middle of my class in magic school. I sort of lack confidence. Do you think you could use me? I don't, I don't like her personality here, to be honest, but we'll continue onwards. Alright, I'm sure you'll be fine. You probably know this already, but this is a very... Oh, this is very serious business, says Villain. Understand? Yes. Thank you very much. I still have a long way to go, but someday I'll be just like my sister. <laughs> I was gonna say dead, but okay. I'm so glad. Not all men who were prettier than women were cold. What? Billy, you aren't that way at all. You're actually very nice. Oh, now there's like a 95% chance this character's evil. <laughs> he He's a pretty boy with gray hair. Might as well just call him Sephiroth, right, Chad? Like, oh no, clearly he will be one of the good guys, rolls eyes. Nice. Oh, really? I don't think I'm quite as nice as you say, girl, too. Really? But I'm not about to deny that I am... Oh, but I'm... Wait, did it switch who said this bubble? I'm confused. I thought she said really. But I'm not about to deny that I am pretty. Oh, no, it was her that said it. What? But he didn't call her pretty. Wait, I'm confused. She called him pretty, and then he said, I don't, I'm don't. i not as nice as you think I am. And then she said, but I'll take being called pretty. Did I miss a word in there? I feel like I'm hallucinating. <laughs> that's why I got confused. Anyway, whatever, we'll move on. I've never thought so. But that's what I've always been told. These days, I'm beginning to think maybe it's really the case. Let me give you your first missions as arms. Yeah, like, was it just me, chat? Like, can someone double check that? I feel like she called him pretty. Then he says, I'm not as nice as you think I am. And then she went... I, I don't know. Is Villain really being evil nature versus nurture at this point? Maybe. Let me give you your first mission as arms. Oh, but wait. Preparations will take a little while longer. Wait in Chateau for our preparations to be complete. And you'll get the assignment. slowly saunters off. Very slowly will he saunter off. Alright, so we finally get to loot the place. Just looks like us crouching repeatedly at things. We're gonna look at the totally, definitely not wolf logo from Shadow Hearts. It really is everywhere, jeez. Here on the third floor, the parlor and villains and accomplices private room. Oh, that is quite a sentence to get through. Hmm. So Valeria is always busy. If he's not in his room, he may be on another floor. Get to the other floors. Please use the elevator straight ahead. So there's more side rooms here. See a book entitled Bill Ain's Diary? Oh, we gotta read this. Villain's diary is locked, you can't read it. Oh, we can't hear about his plots to destroy the world. See a book entitled The Philgaia Summit. Read it, sure. Philgaia Summit is a conference of the nation's highest ranking leaders. The summit is held every two years and during a crisis. During Slayham's collapse, an emergency summit was held to discuss the world situation. The Treaty of Iscariot, a peace treaty, was also discussed again at this time. The summit, nations were to discuss world peace at their own national interests. Okay. Good luck with that. See a book called The Road to World Unity. Let's read it. What can unite the world so that all nations can live as one? Absolute terror? Why did it lead with that? Overpowering force? Common ideals? Everyone has different ideas and opinions. Will the world ever unite? In the past, others strove for unity. Will you see their achievements vanished like a dream? Is it even possible for one ruler to unify the world? Perhaps the world will unite only when all the people of the world desire unity. 
book coming the you see a book entitled The Coming Threat? There's a roguelike companion game for Penny Flood that has been released? Really, I didn't even hear about that. You could you let me know what it's called? I'll look it up later. I know, I don't know why it's called the coming threat. The threat of the blazing demon has passed, but who knows when another threat may appear. Oh, okay. I might go pick it up then, actually. I think when Penny Blood initially gets released, I think we'll play that game. How's that, chat? We'll play them both back to back and see how we feel about them. The next disaster to strike could be a monster, or it could be a natural disaster. We're not prepared to deal with such disasters. Threat global and scale could overwhelm us. We must unite, but can we? Are our beliefs and ideas too different? Listen, I just want to loot your stuff. Man, you have, like, the most basic place ever. Where where are your items? Alright, chat. We'll find it eventually. I'm definitely going to take a look at that. We played some rogue place on stream before. It's not unheard of. That was his room, probably. This is her room. A book entitled To Be Ever Prepared? Sure. Disasters and misfortune may strike at any time. To survive, you must assume the worst possible scenario and plan accordingly. Unpreparedness allows a bad situation to grow worse, overwhelming the unprepared. Precaution and prevention stop disaster from spreading and help minimize the damage. Is there a reason you, they're using the word disaster? Are they? Is that meant to be like a demon disaster, or are they just be like natural disasters? Like, does it have some other meaning in this? I feel like it's kind of a strange word to keep using. See a book entitled Borders or Barriers. Sure, let's read it. Human settlements grow until they reach the point where a nation is born. But guys, nations and people are divided by invisible walls called, bar called borders. People are further divided by a longing for security and suspicion of foreign nations. Will Pogayans ever learn to live together as one people sharing the same planet? I'd like to say they have some very strange books, Chad. If they're not going to turn out to be villains, they have some very, very suspicious books. Just like, what are they doing? Alright, let's go to floor two. Aw, uh, the game is apparently in early access. Maybe that's why I haven't gotten any alerts for it. Interesting, interesting. It does seem like it's gotten pretty good reviews for the most part. Could be worth checking out. Oh my gosh, there's so many rooms. I mean, I'll still keep an eye on it for sure. I'm usually not a huge fan of early access games. I think the only one I've ever really tried in, in long term was Secrets of Grindia. We, we have mixed feelings about that one. Hopefully they'll tamper the difficulty or do some things later with it, but probably not. Compsis says... It's so rare that my brother agrees to see visitors. He has a bad habit of taking everything upon himself. But no one has the strength to do everything all alone. And everyone has the strength to help others. Isn't it ironic? Yeah, I think probably closer to October we'll be playing that game. Since it's technically finally released, we could just go beat it at some point. It could also be a birthday game, potentially. Before I joined ARMS, I observed Raylene, the network of the planet's life energy. Oh, do they mean Rayline? Wait, hold on. Oh, that has to be a translation thing. I'm pretty sure they called it... I Originally, I was joking that it should have been called Leyline, because everything talks about ley lines in the planet. But it was definitely called Ray Line in Wild Arms 1, and now this one is Ray without the Y at all line. I think it is a translation issue, Chad. I think they're all supposed to be the same thing, but they had a little bit of an oops in some of the terms. Wish I could observe Valeria Chateau's kitchen. The trained observer, of course. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Ley Line, but they messed it up. And just says, Oh my gosh, a character that's named that I don't have to name? That's the real plot twist. Don't worry, but my head isn't shaking that much. I'm Linda. I'm kind of kind of new with this, so go easy on me, okay? Momo, what a nice young body. 
I'm Momo. As you can see, I'm a nurse. <laughs> it's just like, it feels like we're like threatening the bookcase whenever I'm trying to search it. We got full heals. There are so many things to look through. Oh, red chest. Stu... Stutherdar? It's quite a name. Hopefully this is, uh, sorcery up. It is. I guess I kind of have to give it this to her. Kind of unfortunate. Wait a minute. She gets less of a benefit from it? Oh, maybe it scales with level? Is this- or, or it could be percentages. So notice he gets six, she only gets three. They have a three level gap between them currently. Oh no, they don't. So maybe- maybe it is percentage based and not a flat number. Hmm. That's interesting, I guess. Because his vitality is super high compared to hers. As an example. Uh, so we found another item. We went through here. This place is huge. At some point, we'll finish exploring it, and then we'll take a break. But yeah. Oh, fake doors. Fake doors. This one's a real door. More gold acquired. Is this offense? It is offense. I'm not taking any damage currently, so I don't see any reason not to do this. Is, is that the only real door in a, in a hallway of fake doors? That is quite something. Hmm. We have a statue we can't investigate. Wow, this feels very, uh... Hmm. Also, love our foot being on the balcony there. Take that perspective. Feels like he's gonna give his evil villain speech. Even the colors are interesting choices. Bonk. I guess we'll go to the ground floor now. Times Felgaia was protected by Sword Magus. Also turned to protect Felgaia's member of arms. There's the save. I feel like we're almost done. Okay. I found the exit because there was a white light. Okay, I found the exit. All that just to enter this place. See anything else you could do in these hallways. So we came from there. I'm from the side. So what's through here? Even a champion of justice has to put food on the table. So I have the side job here. Only the legendary Tama. Tamago Meski? Could load more bullets, if he really exists, that is. Be a character we see later. The Valeria lost the use of one of the legs of one of his legs due to an unfortunate accident. He showed such brilliance in swordmanship and the casting of spells. A truly unfortunate. You know the memory surfaces all over the world, right? The Valeria created them and deployed them all over Filgaia. Been around a lot longer than ours, so they kind of have seniority over us.
There we go. Childish woman says, Wait, you can't go in there. It's a restricted area. This area is for emergency use only. It's off limits. Sorry. Don't tell anyone, but we're skipping work right now. You be quiet now. Dot, 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 dot. Excuse me, but are you looking for someone? Um, yes. I'm looking for Vil Ain. I think I saw him headed for his room just now. Thank you. I'll go and see. Oh, right, Chad. I think we'll stop here, then. I think that's a good stopping point. So we'll go back to his room later. Oh, hold on. There... There more to this place that I missed on the side? Or, no, 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 just how the top end looks. Never mind. I almost thought I saw a door because the way the, the wall was clipping. I think we made some good progress. The wall will. Oops, said I'm gonna go here. So we'll save here and then we'll continue the, the journeys of Elaine next time. There we go. Let's give a little chat. How do we feel about the game so far? Well, the puzzles are a little janky. <laughs> I'm not a fan of some of the dungeon design so far. We're still pretty early in, but mm -mm -mm. we'll see. It's not enough to make me not play the game, but they definitely do some things I don't like. What's helping me get through the game, though, from, like, a perspective, is I like to avoid random encounters, because I do not like random encounter games, because I find them very tedious. So I like that for the most part I can choose to delay it by a lot, even without any other magics. And at least it seems like we got early access to warp and some heal stuff. So I think from, like, a balanced perspective, it seems a lot cleaner than the first game. I'm not entirely sure I'm sold on, like, the new or gauge building and things like that. So potentially, like, Girl 2 will be a lot stronger in boss battles, but pretty much useless in random encounters, unless we're fighting, like, the equivalency of mini-bosses. So I I'm somewhat okay with that. I'm not sure I really like the current character who allegedly drew the sword and did all those other things, since, uh... He feels like just kind of a slow powerhouse, but he doesn't have, like, a real follow-up skill yet to do anything with it. Like, compare him to, uh... I think we called him Jack in the previous game, but compare him to the Samurai character from Wild Arms 1, where we had, like, the quick draw abilities. Like, we had something that would basically multiply or benefit from our power, and so far we're given guns, which kind of go counterintuitive to building power, so right now, there isn't really a character where I'm like, yeah, this character is going to get every power apple ever. Like, I don't know what their core stats should be in those scenarios. Do you know what I mean, chat? So we'll see as we go forward. I'm not entirely sure how the arms damage works. It's possible it does scale off the power, but I'm not sure. We could maybe test it later by, like, unequipping weapons later in the game, just to confirm. Right now, I think our weapons add so little damage that it's, it would be pretty hard to tell if it was number range or not. But maybe later on, we'll hold on to, like, a beginner sword and try the gun before and after, just to confirm it as a damage check. But we'll see. I'm kind of hoping we get more abilities. I do like the Guardian's custom command, potentially not requiring us to build a full force gauge since, again, we barely used that at all. In Wild Arms 1, most encounters were over before we built it. And kind of like in this game, too, most encounters seem to be over in one turn, so it hasn't really changed too much between Wild Arms 1 and Wild Arms 2 in that, in that perspective. So I don't expect to use it super often, but it's nice to have, like, a potential ult boss option. But anyway, chat, I think those are my thoughts and feelings so far in this session, so we'll continue. But look forward to another session at the same time tomorrow. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch at this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.